Woof, woof. Hey guys, it's me, Marcus, aka the Mad Dog, and we are back with another live stream. But this isn't just any live stream, because a year ago today, I put up the very first channel on Mad Dog Comics. I woofed for the first time. So, of course, we need to celebrate. Just real quick, I'm going to do my hair because I need to get that perfect 80s action movie bad guy look back up. So there we go. Still haven't been able to get a haircut in the UK. And as you can tell, I've still got the softbox there. That's why I look like Lord freaking Voldemort right now. But yes, um, yeah, first time I've done a live stream this year without Comic Bound or anybody being there. So if I'm pacing a little bit, if I don't seem like I know what I'm doing, it's because I don't. And I can see that there's a little moth there in the background. Um, it's nice that they could join me as well. But there's already so many of you that are joining in with this live stream. Some of you have been waiting quite a while. So we're just going to run through some of these. So firstly, we've got Peter H here who said that um, due to the time difference, he's at work. But much respect to you and your hard work on the channel. I'll try to pop in later. Woof, woof. Yes, thank you for thank you for just being here anyway. Um it, it means a lot. And anybody who catches this on the replay, I hope you have a good time as well. Um, if you can see the replay, I clearly haven't said anything that's going to get me cancelled. So congratulations to me on that one. And that's from past Marcus that's saying that. We've also got Blue Sonic that's saying happy anniversary, mate. Thank you. He's been a massive supporter of the channel. So thank you for being here as well. We've got Phil's nerdy booze. And I promised him that I'm not going to get as drunk as I did on the previous live stream that I did. Actually, I'm not drinking for this one because I want to be able to celebrate this with you guys as much as possible. So we're just going to whiz through some of the comments here. And obviously, when I do these live streams, especially the MDC, I always tend to neglect the comments, which I apologize for, but we'll probably get into that a bit later, you know, why that kind of thing happens. I wanted to just be able to have a celebration with you guys, just a one-on-one -on -one chat to everybody that's here joining us today. We've also got Marvel Bab from up in Birmingham, who says he's to the official Marvel... Ma can't speak already. He's to the official milestone and wish you all the best on many more. Thank you, mate. Um, I'm hoping that this is the first of many celebrations as well. Feels weird to be here at the one year mark. And, you know, I know that some people have jumped on to the channel sooner. Some people have jumped onto the channel quite recently. To me, it's all good. And forgive the books that are in the background. I'm still sort of in that middle phase where I am trying to recoup after the, um, after the haul that happens. You know, the beginning of the month is... A very hectic time, I'm not going to lie, but we'll get into that in a bit. Jonah says, love you, Mad Dog. I love you as well. Thank you for supporting the channel and thank you for being here. Marvel Bab says, if I remember it right, wasn't it nice and warm this time last year? It's totally piddling it down here. Yeah, you might. If I haven't got the game correct on my microphone, you might be able to hear just how loud the rain is. I was like, if the rain fucking, you know, stream bombs this, stream dives this, um, stream dives this stream... I'm not going to be happy if the rain is what ruins this. Um, Captain Makasu says, just ended work and got myself a beer. I'm ready. I hope that the show is, is good for you. Um, I've got a lot planned. I've got a lot to say. Shock horror. I've got a lot to say. Um, Farhan says, woof, woof, peace and love from Malaysia, bro. Oh, that's mad. Like, I always find it cool when people from across the globe, you know, watch the channel. Like, Sometimes I can't even get my own friends to watch it. I'm just going to try and do something with the light in here because something just changed in it. So I'm going to turn that one on. I'm just going to turn the softbox off. Might get a little bit creepy up in here. Actually, that looks a little bit better. I'm a bit happier with that. Um, We've also got the Comics Cavern saying woof woof. We've got Joachim saying happy anniversary. I see more blood, sweat and tears in the future of this channel. As hardworking as you are. Thank you. And that means a lot. And, you know... You have supported this channel so much, um, and I hope as well we can work together in future as well. I'm going to talk about some of the plans for the future, so hopefully that's something that will interest you guys. Um, just catching up on comments here. I can see that there's a super chat there. Um, as you can tell, I'm really not good at monitoring comments. It's something that we have to get better at. Um, SEC said, instead of cake, you can eat an omnibus to celebrate. Which omnibus should I eat? Because, you know, would I go for something that I think is going to be more filling or just something that I think... I wouldn't miss too much off my shelf. What do you guys think I should eat? Cade, who's also got his own channel, says, can't believe it's been a year already. I know it's mad. Like somebody at my gym, um, Aaron, who supported me from day one and is very much looking forward to Image, um, said like, you know, this time last year, you just wanted 100 subscribers and that was all you focused on. And to be fair, you just wanted to have something to focus on in lockdown. We'll talk about, we'll talk a bit more about that um, as the stream goes on. You, you aren't late at all. It's probably me that was late, Puffin Muffin. Um, so don't worry about that. 
Stop giving me ideas of preparing my hair in front of the camera. Your hair is always better than mine, though. I have to do this because, honestly, I came out of the bath and it looked like I'd been electrocuted. I look like Sideshow fucking Bob, so you win on the hair department, don't worry. I have to look like I'm making an effort because that's the only way people will know that I've made an effort. Highland G says, woof woof, good to see you, Mad Dog. It's good to see you here as well. I'm glad that you managed to tune in for the stream. And as well, we've got Comics vs. The World saying woof woof. I love the stuff that he puts up on Instagram. We've also got a super chat here from BJ Kicks, who recently just passed 2,000 subscribers, and he's pretty much already at 2,100. Like, mad progress from, from him. He did a video the other day talking about how you can progress your channel on YouTube. And I was watching it because I'm like, this is a dude I need to learn from. You know, I really want to get him on an MDC. I, the MDC is something that's always evolving. And BJ Cakes, you're definitely a guy that I'd love to get you on the MDC 6 if we can do it. But honestly, this guy has the busiest work schedule. Like, I was thinking, what do I talk about in these live streams? Because normally with the MDC, I've got people that I can bounce off. But with with the one-on-one -on -one live stream, like, do I talk about the channel? Like, would that seem a bit too egotistical of myself to assume that people want to hear about the way my channel works in the background or anything like that? But BJ Kicks, I, I love listening just to your voice. You've got a great voice, to be fair. And, you know, thank you for the super chat. And if you are up for an MDC with me and Adam, let me know. I'd love to, I'd love to get that on the cards. It's obviously just the time difference that I'm like, when works best for both of us. But yeah, thank you for the super chat, mate. I know you and your family are doing well as well. Oh, congrats on hitting 3K tomorrow. I'm not hitting 3K tomorrow, I don't think. But I appreciate, I appreciate like, um, you know, the sentiment. What, whatever happens on the channel happens. And um, we've got Giles who says, ahoy, hoy. Is that like pirate talk for woof, woof? Because, you know, ahoy, hoy, welcome to the channel. I've always loved that you've got a Power Ranger in your thumbnail because at the heart of things, I'm a Power Rangers guy. Rohan says, hi, as a new collector, finding your channel was a godsend. I'm, I'm glad that it was. I always wanted to create the channel that I wish existed when I was like 11 and 12 and getting into comics because there was pretty much just iFanboy. And I fucking love iFanboy. Like, I, I reached out to Ron for my fanboy a few months ago. I was like, I've always been a big fan of iFanboy. Would you ever come and do a live stream with me? And he just didn't reply. And I can't blame him. Like, it was the worst written message I've probably ever sent to someone. Like, the people who accidentally send me dick pics send me better messages than I sent to run for my fanboy so it wasn't gonna happen but yeah that was always my intention with the channel so i'm glad that as a new collector you, you're finding it useful i still they continue to deliver videos that you enjoy connor says happy anniversary you got this i hope i do like honestly this is the quickest that i think i've ever spoke with eight minutes in i think i've already said thirteen thousand words Sam Cass says, congrats, my friend. You helped me start my collection. Is there any issue with Venom you could suggest? Venom, I got into Venom. I appreciate, you know, you saying that um, I helped you start collecting as well. That's really, really flattering. Um, Venom, I, I'd start with Donny Cates. Maybe Daniel Way is something that would interest you, but that's a little bit more obscure. It's not really connected to the main Marvel universe, if I remember correctly. The early Venom stuff was then pretty much finding the feet. But for me, I always think the Ultimate Spider-Man run is possibly one of the best things that you can read if you want to learn anything Spider-Man. So that would be my suggestion. Uh, well says, happy anniversary, mate. Thank you. I know you've been here for a while. So this anniversary is probably as important to you as it is to myself. Omnibody says, hello, the most handsome guy in the YouTube comic book scene. I'd love to get you on for an MDC as well. You really helped me with the recent Whale Watch that I filmed this morning. Um, just a little bit of notice, Whale Watch might come out after Polis this week because I had the worst headache yesterday. Like, do you know when you get a headache in one spot of your head? Like, it's not an overall headache. It was just right here. So I couldn't really see. So I had to delay a little bit because I don't really want to bring out a video that I'm not happy with for you guys. But yeah, he really helped me with Whale Watch this month. We've got Robert Smith as well. I'm just... Damn, the comments go so quick here. Um, saying, happy anniversary, woof woof. Thank you for being here. I heard an F-bomb demonetized. Yeah, if, if there's one person who's going to get fucking demonetized, it's fucking me. You can fucking bet yourself <laughs> that that's going to happen. But yeah, I, I don't really, you know me, I don't really hold anything back. Um, Zach says, woof woof, congrats on the milestone. Thank you. You've been here from day one as well. Like, it, it's, it's one of them just thinking that this time last year, I was like, is there any point in putting up me, me April Hall? Is anybody even going to watch it? Is anybody going to care? What am I going to do after that? And then we're here now and people are still here. Like, I'm as, I'm the most surprised. I didn't think anybody would watch me in the first place. Uh, Marvel Bab just says, lol. Um, 
I think that was about the Birmingham thing. Um, Robert Bain, who's again been here from day one. Um, congrats on the milestone, Mad, Mad Dog. He's to many more. Woof, woof. Um, Cinematic Galaxy, who is my fellow New 52 fan. We both get the toast out every time we say the New 52 because it's both of our jams. Congrats on a year, Mad Dog. Appreciate the enthusiasm and positivity in your videos. That's just what I wanted to bring to the comic book scene from day one. Um, so I'm glad that... I'm glad that's showing. Um, Job Lot of Comics, who was the first person who ever sent anything to the channel, says, woof, woof, happy anniversary from us. So make sure that you check out their website. You'll always get some really good stuff in their boxes. Danger Steve says, happy anniversary. Keep up the good work. Thank you, my man. Don says, happy anniversary, man. Hope you have a great one. I I'm having a great one because I get to spend it with the people who've made, who've made it happen, which is, which is you guys. So thank you. Omnibody says one year insane congrats. I know why as well. The the funny thing is, I'm trying to catch up on comments as quick as I can. I can see that there's a super chat. Don't worry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna neglect anything like that. Um, but yeah, somebody said to me that the first year of YouTube is just pretty much all mistakes. Like you will pretty much write off your entire first year of YouTube. So I'm like, okay, the first year is gone. All my mistakes are done. But then today I was filming, and I immediately made a mistake. So it's all a learning curve. But yeah, it's just insane. I, I didn't. Think I'd make it to one year. Um, my boy Elias says, Woof, we've been there on day one and happy to be here on the one year anniversary. I'm happy to, to have you here as well. Hope we get a lot of these. Stay great, dog. Hope we get to meet over there or over here sometime in the future. I'm down for that, especially when Comic Cons happen back up. Um, I was looking at Lon London Comic Con, it's on the weekend of my birthday. Not sure if that's something that's going to be possible at the minute with the state of the UK, but I can't wait until the day when I can go back to a comic convention and someone barks at me and I'm going to go, oh, wait, yeah, shit, I do run a YouTube channel that's got something to do with all this. So that's going to be cool. Zoom, another one who's been here from day one, says, hey, brother, thank you for tuning in, my man. I still hope that you start a channel as well. General Gravity 69 says, hi, thank you for tuning in. Um... Kate says, can't wait for Image. So excited for what books you'll have to recommend. Oh, it's not even just a where to start that I've got planned for Image. So I've got who is he that I'm scripting on both Spawn and Witchblade. You know, see if I can get some views just by putting a pretty girl into the thumbnail. See if that's what I've been missing out on on YouTube. Um, I've got a very new idea that I'm testing out. Maybe ask me for a clue and I might give you one. I'm, I'm feeling a bit coy at the minute. Um, Stephen, who's been a great supporter of the channel, says, woof, woof, been looking forward to this all day. I'm starting to become a regular on here. I know, man, like, I love that every time I put a video up, I see that you comment on it because you, you've been so supportive for the channel. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about that later on, just like the what I've noticed has changed in the year on the channel. My boy Omni Nation Comics is here with the super chat. Thank you so much for that. It means, really means a lot. Um, he says, woof, woof, huge fan of your channel, Marcus. I will forever be a fan, bro. Thank you for being an inspiration. Much love. Honestly, I love the energy that you bring to YouTube. I really want to get you on for an MDC because I just imagine that would be the single hypest stream that has ever existed on the planet. Like just us two popping off all the time, just being so hyped. So if you're down for that, if the time difference works for you, let me know. I'd love to make that happen. Uh, Jonas says, Marcus is funny as hell, always making me giggle. That must be another Marcus. I am not funny at all. Like, my sense of humor is stuff that isn't funny. Like, I've seen this to the Whammy Boys. That's not our official name, but, you know, Joachim, Dano, and obviously my boy Adam. I was saying that my sense of humor, I love running jokes that are not funny anymore. Do you know that bit where, like, a running joke's funny for, like, the first couple of times that you say it. Like, mine, not a manga guy. People got a little bit of a chuckle. It's in that dead phase at the minute where I've said it so many times that it's not funny anymore. But eventually it'll come back around to being like, ah, oh, it's funny again. I love jokes that you see through to the point where they're not funny anymore. So that's kind of my sense of humor. So I'm just glad that some of you guys appreciate that as well. BJ Kick says, I'm always down. I'll hit you up on IG to schedule. You heard it here first. BJ Kicks is going to be joining me for a future MDC. Let's as well see if we can set something up so that we can raise some money. Because I know, obviously, at the minute you've been raising money, um, you know, in association with what's going on behind the scenes. I'd love it if we can find a way to, to make that happen. So, yeah, let's definitely get that on the cards. And as well, who else do you want to see on future MDCs? Because I'm planning on doing one each month. Who you guys want to see? I'd, I'd love to reach out to them and see if I can make that happen. Me and BJ, we've been trying to get on the cards for a while. We definitely need to get that happen. We definitely need to make that happen. Off My Shelves, who's also got a great channel, says, it's strange to not see Comic Bound on a live stream. Have a good one anyway. Yeah, like, 
he was messaging me before this and he was like, Yo, are you, are you feeling okay? Because I said to him that last year I did a few live streams on my own. I think I did one for 500 subscribers and one for a thousand. And I didn't know if I really found my rhythm with it. Then I didn't know if live streams just maybe weren't for me. Maybe it just wasn't my thing. So we, I said that I was going to at least do one more, especially with the MDC. I thought that was a concept that I'd really enjoy doing a bit further. And I messaged Adam. We've been friends for so long. And then obviously he started his channel. So the timing just worked really well. I was like, would you want to do a live stream? See if I can maybe scratch that itch again. And I did it. We had the best time. So ever since then, I'm like, Adam, I need you every time I'm doing an MDC. But for this one, he was like, no, it's the anniversary. You just you just go and have a good time. He says, I'll be there in the distance. I'll be looking out for you. He's my boy. Adam's my boy. The channel probably wouldn't still be here if it wasn't for him. Tim Vega says, hey, my dog, what's up? I need to message you. Um, so remind me on Instagram that I definitely need to message you. But yeah, thank you for being here. I recently just started watching the US office. So that's a great thumbnail that you've got there. And Dwight's one of those characters that I keep going, he says it the wrong way, but he's right. <laughs> like, there's quite a few occasions where I end up agreeing with him. Uh, the comics Kevin, the comics Kevin says, I came to the channel just trying to find where to start in the X-Men and instead found one of the best channels ever. I'm assuming that's somebody that I featured on an MDC because I'm I'm not one of the best channels. Like there's so many big players in the YouTube comic book scene. Like I, I'm flattered, but I'm 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 not the finished article. I, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm I'm always gonna try and work. To, to be better than where I'm at at the minute. Um, this new idea that I've got, I really wish I could just tell you guys because I'm so excited for it. Ruben's in the house. He says, hey, man, thanks for all your recommendations. As a new collector, many thanks. I've loved Dawn of X. Any suggestions for me? If you like your X-Men, astonishing X-Men every single day of the week if you haven't read that. Um, Grand Designs is also pretty good if you don't know too much about the X-Men. Um, but yeah, those are the two that I'd probably go with. Carl Lowe's, who's been here for a long time supporting the channel. Big congrats, Marcus. Great work on the channel so far. Keep it up. I like that brain of yours. My brain very rarely works, if I'm being honest with you. It's more just, it, it has to work occasionally, and sometimes that works out in your favour. But I, I appreciate the compliment, mate, and thank you for being here. Man, I'm trying to get through all the, the comments, and I just can't seem to, to keep track. Um, Rohan says, what's your favourite Batman omnibus? Oh, I need to look at my collection. Uh, favorite Batman omnibus, you know. I know it's going to be a bit of a curveball, but I really love the Batman Black and White omnibus because it's a collection of short stories. I also loved um, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale because you just got so many classics in there. And that was the first review that I ever did on this channel, so of course it's going to have that soft spot. Um, I've recently ordered the Batman by Scott Snyder omnibus, so even though I don't have it, that's some of my favorite Batman material because I had it all in trade paperbacks. So one of them, definitely. Um, let's have a see where we're at. Okay, here comes the questions from Joachim. He says, if you ignore, I will take it personally. Well, you don't have to take it personally now. <laughs> Name one thing that you have learned from having a comic book YouTube channel for a year now. That's an amazing question. Like, I, I, I love talking about my discovery of what's happened over the time at YouTube because it's all been a learning curve. It's all still a learning curve. The one thing that I think really surprised me is that a lot of people start YouTube because of the fact that you love the channels that you watch. Like, I loved your channel. I loved watching Mr. Omar. You know, I was always a big fan of iFanboy. And there were so many other channels that I, I, I enjoyed watching. I was like, you know, what if I've got something to say in this community? But as soon as you start making videos, you have no time to watch videos. And it's a little bit of a shame. So it's almost like the reason why you get into YouTube gets taken away from you a little bit. You get something else in return because you actually get to interact with those channels on a more personal level, like you become friends with them. So that's one thing that I definitely learned that doing YouTube takes time away from watching YouTube. And I think a lot of people underestimate that. So you have to actually enjoy the creation of your own videos. I always say that I make videos that excite me. I never really just try to make something to fill the time or anything like that. I have to like the video that I'm making because then it's worth that sacrifice of not being able to watch as much of the channels that I enjoyed previously. Um, another thing that I learned is that you just can't please everyone. Like, it's a hard thing to learn because when you make videos and you put so much time and effort and energy and love into it, when you, when you genuinely want the videos that you're making to do well, not even for a monetary reason, just because you got your fucking name on it, just because... You know, it's something that you're doing. If it's your time, you want to make sure that your time's going wisely. But 
some people are still not going to like it. They might just not like your voice. They might not like your hair. They might not like what you say about a book. And some people are going to take that personally as well. Like there's sometimes when I'll talk about a book, like, yeah, I didn't really enjoy this. And some people take that as a personal insult. And it's like, no, I'm not saying you can't enjoy that. But you kind of have to get into that phase where you're like, I'm not going to please everybody. But there are going to be some people who will enjoy the content. And, you know, don't mind that I'm not the finished article, that I'm not perfect at what I'm doing. So that's something that took a long time to learn. But I'm really glad that I learned it. But that's a really good question. Uh, James Abel's in the house saying congratulations. Thank you for tuning in as well. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of a giveaway for you guys, but I don't really know the best way to do this. So here's what I'm going to do. There is a discount code for organic price books. Make sure that you use the affiliate link in the description to help your boy out. But I've got some for organic price books. I'm, I can't remember what the value is. I've also got some for Amazon UK because anybody who won the last giveaway knows that I am fucking horrendous at actually sending things out. Um, I still need to get in touch with Tim because with him being in America, there's been so many issues trying to get stuff across. But there's a discount code. I'm going to do this randomly throughout the video. So just make sure that you paid attention. Make sure that you wait. Maybe have organic price books open. Open and also have Amazon open. I noticed that a few people dropped off the stream as soon as I put that in. So that's that, that's probably what was going to happen anyway, but I'm going to do that throughout this video. I want to make sure that I can do giveaways for people who are here supporting the channel. I know that some people are probably watching it on the replay. This isn't the only giveaway that I'm ever going to do. But when I did my first ever giveaway for a thousand subscribers, I got people subscribing just for the giveaway. And then I noticed that the unsubscribed. So I felt bad because then those people who do support the channel that probably didn't get a chance to be part of that giveaway. So I felt bad. I want to find my ways of being able to do this. I don't know if this way is going to work. I'm just trying my best to make sure that I can give back to you guys. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do all the type of stuff in future. So there's a discount code. There's probably going to be more throughout the video. Just make sure that you keep your eyes peeled. Early Tuesday morning. Wow. And I am here. It's Monday afternoon for me. It's a bank holiday Monday. Thanks, Mad Dog, for being a good company during this difficult time. Um, keep doing what you do, and God bless you always, bro. Peace and love from Malaysia. Thank you. Uh, Malaysia is such a cool place. Don says, still got to help you out with those manga titles. I'm not a manga guy. I don't know why I need help. That's definitely me real girlfriend manga up there. <laughs> um, happy anniversary for a year. By the way, nice tea that you have there. Can you show the full design t-shirt you wear now? We're standing and full screen, thanks. Um, yeah, so I'll have to minimize your comments, unfortunately. But yeah, this is the t shirt that I got. Um, you can see that I'm wearing me Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bottoms there as well. Um, my girlfriend got me this, it's a really cool t shirt. I still can't find me a favorite ever Power Rangers t shirt. Do you know when you lose your favorite t shirt and it's genuinely like you've lost a part of your soul? Like, I know I look like Voldemort at the minute, but that was one of my Horcruxes. So I really miss that t-shirt. If I ever find it, I'll probably do a stream just celebrating the fact <laughs> that I found my favorite Power Rangers t-shirt again. SEC says, if the YouTube fails, there, there's always OnlyFans. There's a small group that loves stretching the spine. You remember what my original idea was for an OnlyFans. That I was going to review like the XXX rated parodies of comics to see how comic accurate they were. That was going to be <laughs> that was going to be what I was going to do for an OnlyFans. Lang7, who's been here for, for a while, and also he helps me find books on books, etc. I love that guy. Congrats on the one year, big man. Uh, the gym's only just opened back up. I haven't got my size back. Um, here's to many more. Miko235 on eBay says, happy one year anniversary. Love your videos. Thank you, man. Um, Josh W404 says, happy... Um, he says, happy anniversary, Marcus, from North England. Not going to lie, just started watching your channel a few weeks ago and enjoy the content. You picking up the Ultimate Spider-Man Omni in November. Yeah, I've already spoke to JP. I was like, look, can you please make sure that I get an Ultimate Spider-Man Omnibus? Because most of my pre-orders now, I do go for organic price books because I just love the company. He's willing to support the channel, so of course I'm going to do what I can to support him back as well. Um, I, don't, I don't remember which cover I asked for. I think it might have been the Joe Casada one. Love that cover. Brian, he says, hi, Marcus. Congratulations on one year, mate. Thank you. And thank you for always supporting the channel. Thank you for always like giving me words of encouragement when I need it as well. What defines yourself as a comic book fan? I know this is something that you're planning on talking about in a future video. So that's a very good question. 
I'm doing that politician trick of drinking water to delay my response, but what defines me as a comic book fan? Weirdly, I don't think anything does because comics are just part of my life now. Um, so it's not necessarily even being a reader of comics, a collector of comics, or even a, a YouTuber who talks about comics. Like, if something was to define me, I think it'd be that sense of escapism because I read comics when I was in high school. I was getting bullied a lot and obviously I gravitated towards Spider-Man. He was a skinny kid and, you know, I was a very skinny kid. Like, Spider-Man was beef to me when he was originally Peter Parker. Um, so I think for me, it's just this sense of escapism. That's why I gravitate towards superhero stories a lot that's a very big question to put me on the spot about those so that answer is probably fucking awful but it's a great question uh roberts v says hi mate haven't been a fan for a lot i thought you're just going to say haven't been a fan of yours at all so i appreciate you joining the channel even if it is quite recently and um, but you and omar and company have always been a great pickup during these weird times hope many more years to go i hope so too um I love connecting with, with Mr. Omar as well. Um, I'm always going to call him Mr. Omar because it's just a respect thing for me. I know he's asked me to not say it, but it's it's kind of like because he's always been the channel that when I started, I aspired to be like. Um, I, it's just a respect thing that I can't get out of my head now. It's kind of like Peter Parker calling Iron Man Mr. Stark. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to not say it. Um, but that's the reason why, if anybody was ever wondering. Uh those galaxies are looking rather empty, needs filling. It's because I haven't screwed mine to the wall, so they're pushed back. Like, I'm doing an updated room tour soon, so look forward to that one on the channel. Um, but yeah, they're quite pushed back. Get Omar on and Jess Bragg Omnidog on a stream with you. Yeah, I, I'd love to I'd love to have um, Omar on here. You see, I'm trying to not say Mr. Omar. I'd love to have him on here for an MDC. Obviously, it's just a time difference because the MDC... People like to, you know, come when it's a bit later at night because it isn't really, it, it very rarely is comic book related. It's just people who are in this community just talking. Like, I'd love to eventually get creators on as well. I'd love to get Sean Phillips on. I'd love to get Charlie Adlard on. I'd love to get Alan Moore, but I'd be scared fucking shitless. I cannot tell you how terrified I would be if Alan Moore ever did an interview or an MDC with me because there's never a script. There's, it's no holds barred. Um, so having Omar on there would be great. And also the Omni Dog. I feel like that writes itself. It'd be, you know, a doggy dog world. There'd be two dogs that'd just be there. When dogs collide, that's what it'd be called or something like that. So I'd love that one as well. And I've always loved the Omni Dog. He's just got such a chill persona to him that I think there'd be a really good balance between us two because that's what I've loved so far about the MDC. I found people that my personality seems to have balanced with because... This may come as a surprise. I am fucking irritating to a lot of people because, as you can tell, I talk non-stop and I talk at weird different pitches. Um, so, so far, the MDC has been great because it's had that balance. So I like looking for channels that I think would have that balance as well. So they are two great suggestions. Would love to see Off My Shelves on an MDC. I'd love that as well. Like, I... I love just connecting with other creators. And like I said, we don't even have to talk about comics. I don't plan anything because when I plan stuff, it goes horribly wrong. So that's why that's why I just love talking to, to other channels. But I'd love to have Off My Shelves on. He's got some very beautiful books in his collection. I'd like to see For the Love of, for the love of Comics on here. That'd be great as well. I'm not really too sure what the time difference is, but definitely something that, that is on the cards. Off my shelves, off my shelves. We need you on an MDC. Um, be a competition to see who would talk the most. Uh, new records set. Two great YouTubers talk together will benefit all of us. Like I said, that's what the MDC is about. Because when I used to do my relationship advice channel, every other channel was in direct competition with you. You would literally get people in your comments telling people who are watching your video to go to their channel. I didn't know what to expect with the comment community. I didn't know if it was going to be like circles clicks stuff like that or maybe everybody was a bit more independent but it's been so fucking welcoming like channels that you know when i was at like 100 subscribers you know mr omar was still giving me guidance he's been there every step of the way he had he, he could have just said no nah, i'm not talking to you but he's been such a great dude such a great help and also mr riley's been such a great help at the at the omnibus collector and um, so, you know, that's what I really love about the comic community. And that's what I wanted the MDC to be about. Like, I know, obviously, 
I'm a bit shit at keeping on top of the comments, but it's because I'm having such a good time just connecting with other creators. And I kind of wanted it that everybody who comes on it to feel as if you're just watching people talk as if we were at like a pub or a bar because we haven't had that for the past year. And that's kind of what I wanted the MDC to be. It's just a chat. Um, so yeah, I, I'd, I'd really love um, to get off my shelves on there. Um, let's have a see. Do you have any advice for someone trying to build their channel? Um, probably. <laughs> I should do if I had an advice channel previously. What I would suggest is to, especially when, when you're saying building your channel, I'm assuming that maybe you've recently just started out. Um, if I'm wrong, I apologize for that. But firstly, do you. That, that would be my first and foremost thing. Do you. Like... In the past year alone, I've seen so many people come on and try to basically be another channel. Like I know some people say that I'm the UK Omar, but I'm like, I that's honestly one of the best compliments I can get. But at the same time, I'm never going to be a better Omar than Omar. So I'm Mad Dog Comics. That's the way that you should look at it, that you're doing your thing. And whether that whether that's you being you know, somebody who talks quickly like myself, maybe you're super energetic, maybe you're somebody who's a bit more calm, maybe you're someone who needs to articulate the thoughts in a script like I occasionally do, or maybe you can just talk non-stop, like, here's a little bit of a fact, but when I film, I get a really random stutter, don't know if it's nerves or whatever, I'm not afraid to admit that I get nerves quite a lot of times when I'm filming, I just want the videos to do well, so I often stutter quite a bit, and I've fumbled a few lines here as well. I can't just film continuously, but I have a belief that there is no limitation that can't be turned into a strength for yourself. Have that mindset. You know, if it is that you're somebody who does fumble lines, make your editing pinpoint sharp so that it's so fluid that people don't even notice that you've got that limitation. If you can talk without needing a script, make sure that you find a way to make that work to your advantage. And the other, the other thing that I'd say is don't get into a small channel mindset. Stay humble. Realize that, you know, there is learning to do. Don't ever think that, you know, you're the Billy Big Balls of the YouTube comic book scene because there's people who've been doing it much longer who've also, you know, done a lot for the community already that, you know, it shouldn't look like a competition for you. Never go, oh, this channel's doing that, so I should do the same. Don't compare yourself to any other channel because you're doing your thing. You will find your niche. Mine apparently seems to be like money saving and stuff because I'm really poor all the time. So you will find your niche, but don't get into this mindset like I shouldn't do something because I'm a small channel. You know, obviously you might have a budget and stuff like that. But I remember when I was first doing Whale Watch, I was looking at it and I was like, is this something that my channel's ready for? And I was like, you know what? Who gives a shit if it isn't? Give it a go. That'd be the best advice. Give it a go. If it fails, it fucking fails. Just try something else. The worst thing you can do is second guess everything that you're going to do. Because every time you second guess every single little thing that you're going to do, you probably won't do anything. You're just going to stand still. Moving forward, even if it's in the wrong direction, is probably better than standing still. And that's the mindset that I've had from day one. So those are some of the suggestions that I'd have. Maybe I'll have a few more later on, but that's kind of been my approach. Like the Mad Dog mantra is to just go for something. It doesn't matter if you're going to fail. Like, have you ever seen a proper fucking mad dog, like a dog that's fucking, you know, ready to come off the leash and it's all over the place? That needs to be your approach to it. You don't need to... People think being a mad dog means that you've got to, like, dominate competition and all this. For me, it's just about, here's what I'm focused on and I'm just going to go towards it. I don't care what's here. I don't care what's there. I don't care if I'm going to fail when it gets there. I'm still going to go for it. So, you know, just have fun with it. I guess that would be my main advice, contrary to everything that I just said. BJ Kick says, haha, exactly. I have no time to watch YouTube and even less time to read comics. That's that's honestly like the biggest tragedy of starting a comic book YouTube channel, that you have no time to read comics anymore. You read really quick though compared to me, so I'm still glad that you're getting some good stuff in there. I always love your new comic book day reviews, so I'm glad that you're at least getting to read stuff that is coming out. Yo, Mr. Omar's in the chat. Sorry, I'm, I need to stop calling you Mr. Omar. But um, big congrats, my brother. It's also the one-year anniversary of us becoming friends on Facebook. So that's something that we should definitely celebrate. I'll drink me water to you. But yeah, um, thank you for thank you for tuning in for the stream. And as well, thank you for just 
like, like I said, it was this time last year that I put my first haul into the Omnibus Collectors Group, and um, Omar liked it, and he said, good work, man. And that just meant everything to me. Like, obviously, I, I, I didn't know what was going to happen with this video. I've been watching it. I've been watching Mr. Omar for so long now that I just couldn't, I, you know, it was, it was such a big inspiration. And I remember when we first started talking, I was like, I remember when you announced that Annihilation was going to get a reprint and I'd been watching you for ages, but I was still like, what if this doesn't happen? What if somebody's trolling him? So, you know, it's just great seeing how far your channels come in this year. And like, I'm just glad that I can say that, you know, we managed to connect. It, it means so much to me. Um, Blink says, congratulations. Thank you, my man. You could have a collaboration with Jess. Two dogs. That's a great name. Although, obviously, I'm going to spell it my way with the two Gs because it's in honor of Snoop Dogg. Um, but, yeah, I feel like that's something that should happen at some point. Obviously, I know that he's a very busy dude. Um, obviously, there's the time difference as well. And I'm still the new, the new kid on the scene, so I'm not really expecting anybody to, you know, want to do anything with me. If they do, it's great. Um, but I would eventually like to connect with the Omni Dog. I just, I lo I just love his the way he can make you chill out every time that you watch one of his videos. And I love what he's doing over at the at the Omni Bros. And where's the comments gone? I'm really behind. Um, here we go. Okay. Uh, Leandro says, woof, woof, greetings from Argentina. Wow, thank you. Um, does anybody, depending on where you're from, because I often get people messaging me saying, like, they can't understand my accent. Um, do Does anybody have any issues with my accent? Because I, I've tried to change it over the years because I really don't like it myself. Um, does anybody have any issues with my accent? Um, love the channel and congrats for the one-year anniversary. Thank you, my man. Um, let's have a see here. If you are creating and not offending anybody, you're probably not creating for anybody. That's true. Like, I offend so many people accidentally. Like, it's a good job I don't try to offend anybody because I am... Uh, like, honestly, the amount of people that have sometimes message me and just gone, I can't believe that you said this. And it's like, I can't even remember saying that. Like, it wasn't intentional. I thought it was a code for a bootleg copy of Black Widow. I wish I had that myself, if I'm being honest. Although, to be fair, that film's about five years too late anyway. Um, let's have a see what we hear. I entered it on Steam. Nothing happened. Damn, no Avengers game for me again. That game, I swear, it needs to be... If I had a code for the Avengers game, the sales of the Avengers game probably doubled. <laughs> like, that's... I don't know why that game didn't didn't make an impression on anybody. Um it's a code for a free year of Marvel Unlimited. Ha ha ha. I wish it was. Um <laughs> it's for organic price books if you stayed a second longer. <laughs> I hope somebody managed to get some good books as a result of that. Um Oh yeah, TMNT bottoms. <laughs> like, and uh, honestly, I don't think I've worn jeans for a single video, and that might be my tradition. Like, I'd, honestly, if I met anybody at a convention, you probably wouldn't notice me because of the fact that I'm not wearing like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or Marvel lounge pants at all. My boy, comic bound, being here from day one. Um, we've we've gutted. I can't stay, but just wanted to drop in to say happy anniversary, babe. Just to confirm as well, because someone asked this, he is not Shadow Cat. Like, Shadow Cat's a separate person. He's my YouTube husband. Like, that's what I'm going to start calling him. Honestly, I I don't know what I would have done without that dude. And the MDC is only working because of him. Like, you guys don't realize that he does so much behind the scenes for this channel that it's pretty much half his at this point. I'm just the face of it, because there's sometimes where he's like, if you got Weight Watch sorted, are you prepared for your haul this month? Do you realize it's this date and you need to do it? I'm like, thank you. <laughs> like, and the, the the entire last MDC, he arranged for me because he knew that I was getting a little bit stressed. Um, such a great dude. I can't wait to see where exactly we go in the next year as husband and husband on YouTube apparently now <laughs> confirmed. But the guys on OnlyFans might like your TMNT stuff. Can't blame him. Like anything to get some money these days, isn't it? Um, congrats and cheers from the Netherlands. We'll catch up later. I hope you enjoy the replay um, and thank you for tuning in. Your videos are interesting. Thank you. I've got plans as well for the future. I'm, I'm excited for some of the stuff that I've got lined up and I hope you guys are as well. 
Oh, BJ Kick sent another super donation. Thank you for that. Um, got a run so I can edit a video. Congrats again. Honestly, your videos are top tier, so don't worry. I'm just glad that you I'm glad that you could tune in. Let's get that MDC on the line. I can't wait for it. Like I, what I love about the MDC is it's always creators that I watch as well, so I can talk to them about stuff on the channel. Um, so I'm I'm really excited to get that one on the cards. Um, and thank you for, for tuning in. If you watch the replay, I hope you enjoy the rest of that as well. What do you think of the Power Rangers comics? I have watched loads of the TV series. My favorite is Mike Morphe in Lost Galaxy and In Space. Time Force needs to be on that list for me, but you've chosen some great ones there as well. Um, and quite a big fan, but never tried the comic for some reason. The comic is fucking amazing. There's a lot of different series at the mini. I collect them in the hardcovers. The um, Kyle Higgins part in particular, fucking phenomenal. I can't recommend that enough. Please make sure that you at least get that one. I know that obviously there's some issues with getting the um, hardcovers at the mini, so just make sure that you're, you're not overspending for them. They'll probably get reprinted around the time when Necessary Evil comes out, so just make sure you, you give it a read. It's so good. Neiman Condition is the greatest of us all. It really is. It's the godfather of the YouTube comic book community. Um, obviously, there was like I fanboy 10 years or so ago, but they were late to get onto YouTube. So I think near enough every comic book channel on YouTube, whether directly or indirectly, owes something to, to Omar and Melanie as well. Like, honestly, I can't, I, I can't stress how great of a woman she is. Like, she's so just such a great person, got a great soul, great heart. You know, there's been times she's reached out just to check that I'm doing okay and stuff like that. She's always supported the channel. So, you know, just the, the dream team, the Beyonce and the Beyonce of the YouTube comic, the YouTube comic book community, because, you know, Beyonce is the better one out of Beyonce and Jay-Z. They are both the Beyonce. That's how great they are. Mr. Omar makes me sound like a college professor. In a porn. Well, we're talking about OnlyFans, so, you know, it has to happen at some point. <laughs> Mr. Nia Mint. That, I know, like, I feel so bad. Am I going to start? I, I hope nobody else calls me Mr. Omar. I like that. That's my kind of thing. Um, a college professor in collected editions. I know, we, we're going to get people start shipping it now, aren't we? Um, but, yeah, I've got my YouTube husband. I need to make sure that my hair looks like Terry Silver at Karate Kid 3 again. Well, definitely got to make Mr. Omar a recurring thing. <laughs> I am so sorry. He's gonna. Hit. I'm never gonna get invited back onto the solicitations now because I accidentally keep calling him Mr. Omar. Uh, I'm glad you didn't put the old bit Omar. Lol. Ah, I wish I was like following these as they were happening. I can't remember what that was about. Um, notice we haven't got a Mad Dog News Network episode in a few months. Must have had some controversy with the agitated puppy. He's still waiting by the green screen. He still thinks that there's another episode happening. Honestly, the Mad Dog News Network, I loved it. I put so much work into that, but it was genuinely wearing me down week after week and honestly killing me a little bit. I couldn't manage it. It was a lot on my plate um, and to the point where the quality of the product was sacrificing. I don't think the Mad Dog News Network is gone forever. I just think with my current schedule, though, it wasn't possible to do it on a weekly basis. And the problem, one of the problems with YouTube is that if you aren't first with something, you're last. Once news has come out, it's already old news. So I was doing something that rounded up the weekly news. The support for it was great. It's just, it looked like it was diminishing returns and that there was more work that would have to go into it. And I don't think it's gone forever. I just had to put it on the back burner for now. Um, I know that a lot of you did really enjoy it. I hope it can come back in future as well. Alan Moore would be telling you exactly how to frame every panel of live stream. Yeah, he'd give me the script. He'd give me the script for our own interview. Um, but honestly, could you imagine Could you imagine how much I'd be sweating if Alan Moore came on? What would you, If you could watch an interview with any creator, what would you guys have? I think, honestly, I'd love to have Robert, Robert Kirkman. Like, Robert Kirk, I imagine... He'd, he'd, he'd get drunk with me, I imagine. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. 
Speaking of Alan Moore, I just wrote Lost Girls in Gosh Comics today. I hear it's very rude and naughty. Yeah, I accidentally opened that um, in a WH Smith, I believe it was, when I was about 13. I was like an acne-ridden kid. I only weighed about 100 pounds. It's very clear I'd never even touched a boob. So I was there looking at this, and it's just full pretty much like porn the entire time. So make sure that you read that when nobody's standing behind you, else you are going to get some questions. But I do hope that you enjoy it. Uh, probably last question that you'll have time for. I'm, I'm slowly catching up on these comments. Um, speaking of which, I just put another um, discount code for organic price books in. So make sure that you get that if you want to. If you got the last one, you know, I know I can't monitor any of this, but just, you know, try and be respectful to everybody. I want to make sure that everybody can partake in this, but that one that I just put in is for organic price books. If you could use me affiliate link as well, that would really help. I know it's a little bit sketchy of me, um, but at the same time, if it helps the channel, you know, I, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, but yeah, and thank you for answering the previous ones. Now, what is the one best advice you can give to a new collector today? Um, it's difficult because collecting's changed. Like when I was collecting, omnibuses for starters, nobody really wanted them. I remember that stuff like stuff like that Wolverine Volume 1 didn't go. And it went for $15 at one point in an Amazon glitch. And it still didn't go out of print. Find something that you like, whether that's a creator, a team, even an, an artist, or just a format. And don't be afraid to read something and not like it. I think that's what I'd say. As well, don't get caught up in hype. I know that sometimes I can, and you can hype by. I don't think it's a great thing to do. Um, but yeah, just read books that you enjoy. And you know what? If you read a book that you fucking love, and everybody's like, this is shit, who gives a fuck? They aren't spending your money. Make sure you read stuff that you enjoy. Like, I've recently started buying The Guardians of the Galaxy by Brian Michael Bendis hardcovers, and a lot of people are saying that they are awful. I'm going to give them a go. And if I like them, at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Obviously, be open to, you know, discussion, debate. See if there's stuff that you can, you know, if there's stuff that you enjoy that you can discuss with other people. I think that's where stuff becomes more enjoyable. So that I think they would be my tips. I think I did a video on it as well. So cheap plug for me own video there. Uh, haha, that's happened to me during a live interview. Like, that's what worries me. If I ever did interviews, I just reckon I'd, I'd, I'd mess it up all the time. Um, someone came in and said, hey, go check out so-and-so. They are like, that's, that, honestly, like, people who do that when it's, like, the stream sniping you, what, what's the point? We're a community at the end of the day. We can all help each other out. I have a phrase that everybody can eat at the table. I just, I, I'd never want to take anything away from another channel. Because what what do I really gain from that? So I, I'm so sorry that happened to you in an interview. It definitely wasn't me as well. I do want to clarify. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you blocked them at least or something, or at least called them out. I have more fun listening to all the YouTube peeps chatting over listening to them interview actual creators. Yeah, like the MDC. That's why I want to get you on for an MDC. It's no holds barred. We very rarely talk about comics. The last one, I got quite a bit drunk. <laughs> so... That's kind of the feel that I wanted to bring to it. I hope that everybody is enjoying the MDCs. I'm looking forward to the MDC 6. It might be two Fridays from now. I need to speak with Adam because, honestly, Adam is Adam's the heart of the MDC. Um, he really keeps that going. So it, it's all because of him. I'm in the US Mad Dog. You can you can gladly take that title. Um, I, like, I like that the Mad Dog mantra carries across. And if anybody is a Mad Dog, it is yourself, like, you see what you want to do and you, you go for it, like, this year alone, just seeing how far the, the channel's progressed, and I love as well that you're always open to trying new things, like, I genuinely think that you can get to 100,000 subscribers by next year, so I'm going to do whatever I can to help you get there in any way that I can. You don't need my help anyway, but even if it's just supporting and saying like, you got this, you know I'm going to say that you got this. Never underestimate the role you play for people like me with your um, channel. Comics was my therapy and got me through some dark times with depression and all. Please keep doing what you do and wish you only the best for your channel. Thank you for that. And um, 
I'm glad that comics managed to do that for you. It's always great hearing what comics mean to other people. You know, I think it's amazing that they, they have that power on people. I hope as well that, that you're doing better now. Um, it, it's horrible when you're going through those times when it feels like your own mind's playing games on you. I've been there myself. Um, I'm not really too sure if I want to talk about it too much. I don't want to... I don't want that to become a big part of the stream if people don't want that. But at the end of the day, you did get through that. And that's fucking amazing, man. Whether it's comics that helped you get through that, the people in your life, whatever it was that helped you get through that, you got through that. You beat that. That's like the mad dog mantra that, you know, anything that gets in front of you, you will overcome. And that's what you need to keep remembering yourself. Because when it comes to like mental health, depression and stuff like that, I have a weird relationship with it that i look at it like a health bar in a video game that you know there's sometimes where it's going to be full when you are great nothing can tear you down at all there's going to be other times when it's not great when you need something to boost you up and you know it might be comics it might be something else it's variable and i think as long as you're aware of what helps you through that that that's great and i'm, I'm just glad that you've that comics have helped you to to overcome that and if my channel's even done a little bit to help you with that man that was worth me doing the channel alone. Mad Dog is on the Mr. O team of New Mutants. Haha. <laughs> Mad Dog's actually a Marvel character. Somebody pointed this out to me the other month. I was like, oh shit, I think I might get sued. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what team I'd probably be best on if I had to be in a comics team. Because I'm pretty much like a combination of Michelangelo and Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I feel like if them two ran into each other... I would be the, what would come out if he was in human form. Probably not surprised anybody. I'm not actually a turtle. I'm up for any chat, for any chat in any time. Um, but keep in mind, if me, you and Comic Bound, it will inevitably turn into a Lost debate stream. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I will have to talk about Lost. Like Adam, every, as much as I love him, every time we've had a stream, he starts talking about Lost. Like he, he is a massive fan of Lost. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't like the ending. Like, every time we talk about it, that's all I pretty much say. It could be fun, though. Like, I'd like to do a Lost retrospective chat. See if see what it's like if you go back to it now. Billy Big Balls, been a while since I've heard that one. Yeah, Stoke's very late at getting any kind of, like, running joke. Like, we are pretty much the last to find out anything. Um, we're going to get the result of Brexit pretty soon, so let's see what happens with that one. Um, but, yeah... Um, the best advice for people starting a channel, have fun. If you feel like you have to make new content, you're doing something wrong. I, I agree to a certain extent, but at the same time, I, I think it's good to, you know, have that discipline, have a bit of a routine. I think that has helped me quite a bit, but everybody's different. Having fun is the main thing. And I'm the type of person that having pressure on me makes me have fun. If there's no stakes, I don't enjoy it as much. I like taking a little bit of a risk. So find out what type of person you are when it comes to that kind of thing. And you might figure out that you've got a different approach to it. Um, why is Scooby-Doo the best dog? Because he's not... Like, Crypto's the best dog. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> Scooby-Doo, I prefer Scrappy as well, if I'm being honest. God, I haven't watched Scooby-Doo in years. I wonder if they're going to do, like, a comic book edition of Scooby-Doo, because I know they've done one for, like, Sonic and all stuff like that. So that's going to that's gonna be interesting to see. I really wish they'd let me do the VR Troopers comic if they ever decide to do one. I would nail that. Yeah, finally sober to watch it right away um, from Poland. Woof, woof. Thank you for tuning in, David. It's great to see you here. Um, <laughs> I always like when you leave me comments. It's like, I'm way too drunk to be watching this, but I'll watch it in the morning. Like, I really appreciate that. Um, so thank you for that. Uh Mr. Omar said, feeling his mutual brother. Woof, woof. There I did it. He did it. We're going to say it. It took a year, but we're going to say it. I'm going to accidentally say it as well one time on his stream. So, like like I said, I'm just really excited for the future of this channel. You know, if you want me to talk a bit about that, some of the plans that I've got, let me know. But as well, I'm really excited to see where everybody in this community goes. Like, a year ago, some of my favorite channels hadn't even started yet. Like, BJ Kicks weren't on the scene yet. Comic Brown wasn't on the scene yet. 
Omni Nation Comics wasn't on the scene yet. Off My Shelves wasn't on the scene yet. Omnibody started, you know, quite recently as well. So seeing where it might go in a year, because I know there's people like Cade. I know there's also people like Jack who were just starting out with the channels. And, you know, they bring their own different interpretation onto it. So seeing where it's going to go in future, I'm really excited for that. Looking forward to your image recommendations. I have a bunch of titles, but only have really completed a few of the runs for a particular title. Your suggestion is going to make me complete more image titles. I just hope they're good suggestions because not a lot of people tend to agree with my tastes. Oh, here we go. Off topic question AJ vs. Fury. Who do you think will get the W? I want AJ to get the W, but I don't think he will, unfortunately. I really wish he did, but. <sighs> It's difficult because they are both in two different situations. Now, the last fight that we can judge is Fury Wilder and Joshua Pulev. Joshua still seems a little bit nervous, whereas Fury was dominant against Wilder, but it was over a year ago. I've always been a fan of AJ because I prefer his narrative more. Um, but at the end of the day, I kind of just want the fight to happen in the same way that I want like AJ Wilder to happen, the same way that I want Wilder Ruiz to happen, the same way that I want Ruiz White to happen. You know, I just want to see these fights. Just let's make them happen. As long as it happens, then I will be happy. I'll be sweating. I want AJ to win, but I think Fury will win. But that's a great question. I love my boxing. Uh, Mad Dog, have you read the Grant Morrison's run on Batman? If so, would you recommend it? I read the first part up till um, his stuff in Final Crisis. I would recommend it. It's enjoyable. It's heavy. Make, it's not like a light read, so that's the only thing that I will say. I'm here for the accent. I go to yours because you're handsome and you've got the Usagi Jimbo. so of course I'm going to look and just wonder, what if? What if I ever got them? I'm uh, just going to catch up here. Baharaf says, congratulations on the first year anniversary and keep up the great work. Forbidden Planet is celebrating your first anniversary by having War of the Realms Omnibus on sale. Guys, make sure that you go get that if, if it is that you're still waiting on that. That's a great suggestion. Thank you. Uh, let's have a see what we've got here. Uh... Tim says, just joining in, love your content and congrats on your first year. Thank you, my man. Oh, I didn't know Sideshow was doing one. Um, I feel as well, like there is some overlap between statues and comics, but th this was the time that I could do it. Um, uh, you know, you can't, somebody's always doing a live stream at some point. So I apologize if you'd rather go watch the Sideshow one. Um, let me know if there's any good statues. I can't afford any of them anyway. Um, William says, Mad Dog News Network seemed like a lot of work in editing. It was great, though. That voice, I had to do vocal training. <laughs> I had to do, like, the, the vocal warm-ups so that I could do the news just like this. And um, honestly, it was so weird, the mouth stretching. And I accidentally left my camera on at one point. So whilst I was editing it, I just had to watch me go, like, to warm my mouth up. It was the grossest thing I've ever seen. That's on my OnlyFans, though. Um... An interview with Robert Kirkman would be great to see. It would, but honestly, like, I am the smallest fish in the biggest pond. He is not going to do a live stream with me. I met Charlie Adlard once, so I'm hoping that I can finesse that to be like, look, I loved you since I was 15, and you told me The Walking Dead show was going to be worth watching, and I wasted about three years of my life on that show, so will you do an interview for two hours and I'll call it even? Like, yeah, I love The Walking Dead comic series. Wasn't a fan of the show. I know some people love it. Power to you. Um, there was another code for organic price books. I'm not sure if somebody's claimed it just yet. Um, I just want to catch up on some of the super chats here. Um, oh, thank you for the super chat as well. Thank you for the whale watches. Great work. Woof woof. Thank you. Whale watch might be a bit late this month. It might be Friday and pull list might come out before then. So but it is coming. I, I love that you guys got behind Whale Watch because I was saying to myself, I'm like, if I'm going to do a channel, I need something that sets me apart. And Whale Watch, thankfully, was that thing for myself. It's effort. I'm not going to lie. Like, it takes about three days each time. Um, and I'm glad that some of you guys have found a use from that. So it, it's, it's, worth, it's worth it if you guys enjoy it. Oh, Dan says, you deserve that 100k subs just as much, Marcus. The thing is, like, don't get me wrong, I'd love 
thousand subscribers. I'd love a million. I'd love ten million. I'd love a diamond play button. But the thing that I've always said is focus on my videos rather than my subscriber count. If you focus on your videos, the subscribers will come. If you focus on your subscribers, your videos might suffer because you can't please. The, the more subscribers you get, you can't please everybody. You know, some people might not like some of the stuff that you do, or they might get bored of what you do. It's just a fact of life, unfortunately. People, you know, change and they don't like certain things. So I just focus on the videos that I do. But I've always said, like, if I ever got, like, a plaque from YouTube, whether it's 100,000 or whatever, it's going home to be mom and dad. And I'm going to ask them to take down my degree because it was a 2-1 and there was one mark off getting a first. And to me, that's pissed me off so much. I'd have rather got like a third than being one mark off a first. First is the best grade for anybody who's not in the UK, maybe has a different system. So it goes first, two, one, two, two, and then third. I was one mark off getting a first and being that top tier. So I'd take the 100K subscriber plaque back to my mum and dad and say, I finally did something right. Here you go. And I'd want them to hang it up in, in their room because everything that I do, whether it be my writing, my YouTube work, my goal, the thing that gets me up every single morning. I want to retire my mom and dad. I want to give them the life that they deserve. When I was growing up, they were both working six days a week. Like my mom worked Monday to Friday and then Sunday, and my dad worked Monday to Saturday. I was an only child, and it was it was so that they could give me the best life possible. But, you know, we didn't live in the best estate. My mom and dad do still live there, and I just want to make sure that I can – they deserve the best life. Like, I'm an only child as well. So if I don't do it, no one's going to do it for them. That's what gets me up in the morning. And if I did get 100k subs, that 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 plaque's going back to my mom and dad. And I, I want that to happen at some point. But I know that I can't take my eyes off the videos that I'm doing. That needs to be my focus. I need to make sure that I'm bringing out the best videos that I can. If it gets me no subscribers, I just need to know it's the best video. I don't want to just do trend jacking and stuff like that. I tried it with me Falcon in the Winter Soldier review. I was one of the first people to get that out and it still didn't do that well. So now I'm just focusing on my videos. That's why I'm focusing on ideas that excite me. And I just really hope that, I do hope that one day I can get that plaque to my mom and dad. Fucking love my mom and dad. Big up. They're not watching this. I don't know, I don't know why I just gave them a shout out. They, they are not watching this if I'm being honest with you. Uh... Just tuned in. Congrats on sticking with it and nearing 3K subs. I want to get you on an MDC as well. Um, Joe Corallo, he's got a book that's coming out this month, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I, I really want to get you on. He's been supportive of the channel. He does a lot of stuff for comics comics um, with Perch as well. So I really want to get you on an MDC. But yeah, 3K subs. Like, I looked this morning and I'm about 500 views off a quarter of a million. And I'm like, why? Like, I don't, every video that I bring out, every time I look back on it, I'm like, this is at best a six out of 10. So the fact that people are supporting it, I, I'm blown away by that. I just hope that I can continue to improve. Oh, thank you, Baharaf. He gave, Jesus Christ, a 20 quid super sticker. Thank you, my man. You've always been supportive of the channel. And what I love is that, you know, when I feel a bit down, because it happens on YouTube, sometimes you know, a video doesn't go the way that you want, or you do get people nitpicking and criticizing. You've always been there to, to bring me back up. It's like you always know the exact right thing to say at the exact right point. So thank you for that super stick. It really means a lot. Um, um Omar, can you drop any omnibus hints in here for us? Like he's just coming to watch the stream and it's still like, give us a hint. I really hope the hint is that it's from Matt Fraction and it's got Iron Man in the title. I would love that so much. Fury all day long. He definitely has the edge, but I know it's a cliche to say in heavyweight boxing, anything can happen. Who would have thought Alexander Povetkin would have done a one punch knockout of Dillian White? Who would have thought that Derek fucking Jazora would have knocked down Joseph Parker in seven seconds? Like anything can happen in heavyweight boxing. If everything was, if everything was guaranteed, wouldn't be worth watching. So. It'll be interesting. That's a fight I'm going to watch on my own, though. I don't want to be around anybody when I'm watching that fight, and I'm turning my phone off into the next the next week. I don't want anybody showing me showing me that like fight replay if it is that it goes wrong for AJ. Um, 
I Spy and an Akira Dust Jacket. You rereading that absolute masterpiece. Shadow Cat is at the minute. That was her anniversary gift um, last year. Stick around till October. That's all I'm going to say. Fury is a better boxer, but I prefer AJ as a person. Same here, like. I don't really dislike either of them. I don't think there's anybody, except for Chris Eubank Jr., I don't think there's anybody in boxing that I actually dislike. Um, a few years ago, it would have been different. But yeah, I don't dislike Fury. It's just, I've watched AJ since the Olympics, so I'm kind of like a proud surrogate brother or something like that. Um, but yeah, so it, I just want to see the fight. Uh, Mr. Omar says, sure, Brian, there is going to be lots of green soon. Hulk? Is that a Hulk hint? Uh, much love, Marcus. I tried super chatting, but it's being stupid, so I just wanted to say much love. After bounce, congrats. Just thank you for tuning in. Thank you for always supporting the channel. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll message soon. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in as well. Uh, Farhan says, Tangent, since you're from the UK, which football team do you support, Mad Dog? I'm a Spurs fan here. Um, this is the reason I got bullied in school. I don't watch football. Um, for me, power to people who do like it. I like sports like basketball, boxing, MM fucking A is like the sport for me. Me and my dad watch that all the time. It's like one of our pastimes. Um, and my mum's like, why are you watching the men in tiny pants? And it's like, because I want to, mum. <laughs> like, so that's always been a pastime for us. I don't really watch football, though, um, because for me, I, I like following individuals. That's why I like my boxing and my MMA, because I can follow a person. And then when their career is done, I can follow another person. And there's a bit more of a narrative to it. But I, I can't keep my focus for 90 minutes on a football match, unfortunately. I'm sorry if that's disappointed to hear. Um, I watch the World Cup, though. Um, I support England until it looks like it's going south, which... It's normally very quickly, unfortunately. I hope that we can win the Euros if we're in it. Are we in the Euros? That's how bad I am at my football knowledge. And I work for something that deals with sports, so I should really know. I'm a huge boxing fan as well. This has become a boxing chat, and it's meant. Like, um, if anybody has any comic questions, though, let me know. I'm a huge boxing fan as well. We'll probably bother you on IG. Uh, why did I say IGN? IG with more boxing talk in the future. Wild Diverse Ruiz will be an entertaining fight indeed. I think Fury will get the W also. You know what, though? I have a rule. If they're already talking about a second fight before the first fight's even happened, I put a bit of money on draw, and it happened with um, Fury Wilder 1. And I, Because when KSI and Logan Paul fought the first time, they were talking so much about a second fight, and I was like, what if one of you gets embarrassed? Like, you know, first 10 seconds, one of you is not cold out. Why are you talking about a second fight? So I always put a bit of money on draw. So with them talking about it being a two-fight contract, I'm putting a tenner on draw because he had to like 30 to 1 last time I checked. Not that I encourage uh, gambling or anything. Uh, got a work meeting. Take care and congrats on the huge milestone. Stay awesome. Thank you, my man. Uh, send me a message about the MDC and we'll definitely get that on the cards. Looking forward to that ALF Omni retrospective video soon. Man, the, the, the ALF hype is real. I reckon Marvel could get away with doing an ALF Omni now because of the hype that's being generated around it. Whale Watch is a crown jewel in the Mad Dog Empire. I, I, I'm grateful to hear, but I genuinely want this new idea that I'm thinking of to be something even more. All I'll say is, if you like boxing, watch a channel called Rummy's Corner. The inspiration for the video that I'm going to start doing came from there. Whale Watch gives me FOMO every single time. I don't know if you notice on my whole post on Instagram and Facebook. I actually have noticed that people are like, yeah, I bought this because of Whale Watch. And I'm like, I am praying that I was correct with that one then. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm really glad that Whale Watch does help you guys. Like, sometimes I, I'm so nervous when I'm saying in Whale Watch, I think this is going to go out of print and people are like, okay, I'll buy it. I'm like, I really hope that, you know, I haven't wasted anybody's money. There is a lot of pressure when I do a whale watch, I hope I give the right information because at the end of the day, I'm just a fan of this hobby. I don't really have any inside of information. I'm working with JP now a bit more directly um, so that we can get more information to you guys. So that's something worth looking into. I just put a code up for an Amazon UK gift card. So make sure that you load that into your account if you want it. And um, like I said, this is the way I'm going to do giveaways if it works. So you guys can still get something as a result of it. I've, I gave away some with organic price books. I'm also giving away some with um, I'm giving away some with Amazon UK. So make sure that you get them. Um, hopefully you manage to get some good books. Let me know what you get if you claim the code. 
I'm just watching the stream on my phone and sideshow on the TV. Multitask, baby. Best way to do it. Honestly, I would not put me on the big screen. Definitely put some of those beautiful sideshow statues. Like, honestly, Shadowcat was saying to me the other day, she was like, if you could create a statue, what would you create? And I was like, I'd either create the Quantum Ranger from Power Rangers Time Force, or where is he? Where is my boy? It would be this one right here. Could you imagine a statue of this? This is Zero Ranger Gold for anybody who doesn't know. Just imagine how beautiful that statue would be. Holy shit. I could not wait to see that. But that's the statue that I would create. Um, admittedly, I wasn't too impressed with the Colossus ones that we've seen so far. There's some Daredevil ones that I saw before that I really like, but I didn't have the money to pick it up. Um, I'm just trying to catch up on comments here. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Tim. Um, if that was a, a message, unfortunately, it hasn't come through. Uh, so just make sure that you'll send it and I'll I'll get that read for you. But thank you. Honestly, all the support to the channel is greatly appreciated. Like, how, how am I here? How has it been a year already? How have I not, you know, crashed and burned? I don't understand it. I just hope that I can continue to bring good videos. That's my, that's my, um, that's my hope for the channel. Um, Aries says, beginners DC Comics vid introduced me to the channel. First comic, The Flash Rebirth coming today. I really hope that you enjoy that. I love doing my Where to Start. Um, it's quite funny because the title is just because I'm really lazy. Like, Where to Start and Who Is is because I couldn't think of a better title. Um, so I'm really glad that you're liking that DC one. I don't know what else to do with Where to Start on. Obviously, I've got Image Comics. I think it may be Avengers, maybe Fantastic Four. It needs to be characters that actually have a wealth of content that I know something about as well. I also didn't know whether to do like a Where to Start on creators like Edward Baker and Sean Phillips. You know, what's the best one to read to get a sense for their style and know if it's you. But then I realized the video would just be me going, just read Criminal, and that'd be the video. Um, so it'd go under a short video at this point. I was off my seat when Parker got down to that early. I know. I was still getting a drink ready. That's how quick it was. Like, I, It's kind of like, did anybody watch Chris, Ride, Chris Weidman versus Uriah Hall at USC 261 last week? The, Uriah Hall became the only person who's ever won a fight without throwing a punch or a kick. Madness. Honestly, that was... Uh, my heart went out to him. Just mad that that happened to him as well. Um, let's have a see what we've got here. Um, in 2020, it's Hulk's 60th anniversary. So, yeah, I think Omar hints at new Hulk on Naboo. Oh, what would be a really... They're probably going to do a Hulk by Peter David Volume 4. I think they're going to do a reprint of the Silver Age as well. Um, Hulk, though, I don't really know too much about him besides that. Like, Hulk's a character that I want to know more about. Same, I always put money on draw if there's a second fight announced before the first one. Got myself a good payday from the Fury Wilder one. Yeah, as well. I was working nights at that point, so I had a bet on draw, and I was watching it, but I was watching it without the commentary. I saw Fury go down in the 12th round and in the ninth, um, and I was like, oh, I might take my money, I might cash out. But he wouldn't let me cash out because at the point he'd been knocked down. <laughs> and he, that bit where he just looked like he wasn't getting back up. I, Admittedly, no matter what you think about boxing, I don't know why that wasn't you know waved off at that point. It's for the best that he didn't. But anybody else that would have got knocked down like that, it probably would have been waved off. I've seen you know Ben Askren, Jake Paul. He was up and on his feet and it still got waved off. So, But yeah, I'm glad they didn't let me cash out. I think I got about 300 quid off that bet. Are you taking in Canelo Saunders? Legit, this has just become a boxing chat, which I love. Like, boxing is one of my favorite hobbies. Um, not to do, because I've probably got the glassiest chin ever. I know having a YouTube channel now means apparently that I've got to fight someone. Uh, if the money's good, yeah, I'll do it. Like, I'll get punched by Jake Paul. I, I just run around for a minute and outlast Ben Askren and then just take my paycheck, call it a good day, retire my mum and dad. Job done. Um, <sighs> Saunders. What have we really seen from Saunders recently? Canelo, but at the same time, Canelo's been fighting a lot. It's the case between, has, Saun has Saunders been tested enough that we can say that he's got enough to go against Canelo? But at the same time, it kind of feels like when Fury originally went against Klitschko, you know, nobody would have gave Fury a chance. So Saunders, 
he is a live dog in that fight, and I don't think he's going in there for a paycheck. He is going in there to win. But Canelo's not going to play any mind games. And Saunders and Fury, most of their work happens outside of the ring before the fight even starts. I think Canelo, I'm going to go, if you ask me to put money on it, I would put Canelo. But I don't think it's as wide of a fight as I think it's going to be. I do think it's 50 50. Get, get JP on one day to answer questions from UK and Europe. He's so busy. That is the hardest work he can do in comics. I messaged him the other day and he's working from 9 a.m. till 2 a.m. each day. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm safe. Um, but yeah, he is the hardest working dude in comics. And he's he's down for it in MDC. He's awake at the time when we do them, so there's not really any excuse not to do it. Um, and as well, with, with JP, he's always listening. He wants his website to be the best place for everybody, whether you're from the UK or Europe. Because I know that a lot of people didn't like that video that I did when I was talking about importing omnibuses. I just didn't want to do an unboxing as a sponsored video. I still wanted to give you guys something that, you know, at least will give you some advice. The main message that I wanted you to take away was that if you want books, pre-order them. And JP is pretty great for getting the pre-orders that he puts on there. So that was me real intention with that video. Um, and I wanted to make my own fake advert like I, I just love doing shit like that like my favorite video of all time is the piss wasser advert from gta 4 you know, i lo fucking love that that's that's kind of the sense of humor that i've got and i wanted to bring into my fake adverts and obviously my favorite channel throughout the years has been ksi i love ksi and i kind of wanted to do what he did with his channel for the fifa community with my what i wanted to do for the comic community so you know i don't take it too seriously i do have a laugh i do do a fake advert to promote someone that's sponsoring me because that's stuff that I enjoy. So, JP, I hope that that video, and, you know, some people not liking that I did that on the channel, doesn't reflect badly on his website because that was just a decision that I made for me. Um, but, yeah, he is the hardest working guy in all of comics, writing it, doing content on it. He, he works harder than anyone. Um, I'm really excited to see where his company goes, but we – in the UK and Europe do have to support companies like him if we are going to get them across here in the UK and Europe. So I'd love to get him on here as well to see what his plans are. Let's have a see here. Marcus, would you buy a book just purely on um, the art, even if the story is crap or vice versa? Because I know there are people that will just buy a book because art is by Ross Lee, etc. Even if writing is kind of loose. You're talking to the guy who brought Absolute Superman 4 tomorrow, so that should answer your question. Um, yeah, I would... I would buy something just for the art, because, especially if it's in an absolute, because you don't buy an absolute for the story. Actually, I did for Preacher. Um, although the art is great, I mainly bought it because of how much I love Preacher. But yeah, I'm also probably going to buy absolute all-star Batman and Robin, so that's something that we do have to factor in as well. So yeah, I would. I'm kind of weak. Um, Mark says, hi, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Rohan says, claimed one of the Amazon codes and buying to, planning to buy the Batman Grant Morrison omnibus. Would be my first omnibus. Thanks a lot. I'm glad it's gone at least a little way to helping you. Like I said, this is my way that I want to give back. I want to support people who do support the channel. I miss live streaming with you, man. Bonus question. If you could recommend the viewers one single issue in order to start off a new series, what would it be? Oh, man, I think it's it's Daredevil by Brian Michael Bendis, and it's a silent issue. I, I don't know the issue number off the top of my head. It might be issue 28. I'd recommend that. Phenomenal. Like, holy shit. That was one of the first single issues that I read. That's the only reason I'm probably doing a comic book channel now. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. As well, though, I'll go back to that question in a minute. I miss doing live streams with you. Who knows? Maybe we should do, like, our own channel. Get the Whammy Boys onto something, you know, get the EU version of the, the Omni Bros, the Omni Boys to Men. That's something that we can call... Let's see if people want that. Like, I'd be happy to do that as well. Nick says, Mad Dog, since you're an MMPR fan, did you jump onto the Boom Kickstarter thing? I was tempted, especially that one that was going to let me become a Power Ranger, but I didn't because I've got most of the books that are coming out anyway. And I wasn't just going to buy a random volume. If I was going to do it, I'd want all six. Andrew Kennedy's here saying hi. I'm glad that you're, you're here as well because I know, obviously, you said that you were going across to Manga. So thank you for being here and for supporting the channel. And speaking of supporting the channel, we've got a super chat from SCC that says, Manga Guy, Monday's new segment confirmed with this generous donation. Yo, October, that's all I'm going to say. Like, there's a reason manga's there. It's always in my eyesight when I'm doing videos. So let's just see. But thank you for the super chat. It does really mean a lot. We've also got a super chat as well here 
from none other than the astonishing Melanie saying, congratulations, mate. Woof, woof. Wish I could chat with you all, but I've got to work. I'll keep it on in the background. Thank you. I'll try not swear as much because I know sometimes you watch this at work and then I'm just like swearing all day long. But yeah, thank you for, for the donation. I would genuinely love, especially now that it's pretty much confirmed that Comic Bounds, my YouTube husband. Could you imagine if we had an MDC where it's me and Adam and then it's also Omar and Melanie and it's like a couple's chat? Like, I think that would be great. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, thank you for the super chat and thank you for everybody that's supporting. Thank you for everybody that's watching. It says for me that there's about 57 people watching at this point. Mad. That's more than I thought would probably subscribe to the channel in the entire year. Gosh Comics um, in London had Criminals 1 and 2 in store today for all of those that can't find Volume 2. Yeah, it's weird. Volume 2 had issues. Edward Baker talked about it in his newsletter. The Nerdhead Comic Book Club, great channel. They're all, they are doing so much content. Make sure that you check them out. Um, here's to many more. Congratulations from everyone here at the Nerdhead Comic Book Club. I want to join you guys for a stream. You always look like you're having such a good time, so let's make that happen. Um... Let's have a see what we've got here. I'm sorry if I'm skipping any comments. It's just because I want to make sure that, you know, I can, you know, speak to as many people as I can. Um, um, I've got the match on now in the stream. Albion versus Dingles. Quick boxing note. AJ Box, a Fury Fighter, and I think Whale Watch is very original. Thank you, my man. Um, it's weird. I feel like they've both learned a lot. Like, Fury learned so much from the first Wilder fight. He learned that you can't leave everything in the hands of the judges. But Joshua always learned that he can't just go in and rush his way into things. That's why I think it's more interesting now than two years ago. Especially now because they've all got, they've, between them, they've all got the belts. Um, I think that Fury versus AJ is more interesting than Wilder versus Joshua, even though I would have wanted to have seen both. But yeah, I think we're in the best situation now. I think I'm not going to underestimate what Joshua probably learned from the loss to Ruiz. And I don't think we've seen the full extent of that. He was more patient with Pulev. He had him hurt in round three, I think it was. Round three is always big rounds in Joshua fights. Always bet on at least a knockdown from either fighter in a round three of a Joshua fight. Um, Weidman's leg break was a weird comment. Yeah, there's only been three leg breaks in all of UFC and two of them involved um, Chris Weidman, which is weird. Me and my dad almost puked at the same time when that happened. So gross. I haven't watched boxing since Bruno and Tyson era, and the new documentary is good. You should also check out the Lennox Lewis documentary that was on Sky Documentaries. Um, but my favourite of that era is Evander Holyfield. My favourite boxer of all time is George Foreman. Like, why do we not have a comic or a movie about George Foreman? This is a dude that was an absolute powerhouse. People thought he was unbeatable, but then he lost to Muhammad Ali, arguably the greatest of all time. There's a difference between greatest and favorite. So he lost to he lost to George Foreman. And then he actually went into a massive spiral of depression where he lost a load of money um, and he's pretty much dirt poor, especially because of the fact that he's got like 18 kids that are all called, called they're all called George. He named all of his kids George. Like, that's something I would do, except for calling them Marcus. So he, he he was, you know, very poor. So he got back into boxing at the age of about 40 when everybody thought that he was past it, just so that he could end up getting some money to support his family. And then he ended up somehow winning the heavyweight championship of the world at 45, one of the oldest people to have ever won a um, world boxing championship. And then he got the George Foreman grill because of the fact that Hulk Hill because of the fact that Hulk Hogan turned it down. And then he became like a multimillionaire as a result of it. Why is that not a movie? I'll even play George Foreman. I know it won't make sense, but, you know, it needs to be a film. Who will win out of the boxing match of Mad Dog versus Professor Mr. Omar? That'd just be a hugging match. I'd just hug him all the time. Like, I've said this to Omar before. I'm like, honestly, I'd just love to hug you. You see, like, you're so warm and welcoming. And I'd also love to give, like, Melanie a hug as well. But in a not crossing any boundaries and stuff like that. Like, I, I'm a massive hugger. I love hugging people. Um, if you ever see me at a convention, I'm probably more going to hug somebody than a handshake, and hopefully it won't end up on drama or something like that. But yeah, I'd never be able to fight Mr. Omar. That's never going to happen. I'd, I'd let him punch you in the face. Simple as that. Um, I have a limited space for my comic book collection. Two Calyx could do about half 
full now and trying to pick runs or new titles. So could you maybe do a video on the best runs or artists to give me an idea? I did the best one and done Marvel omnibuses, and um, but if you want me to do my best favorite series ever, that's definitely something that I can do. Yeah, boxing is weird in that way. It always depends on the referee. On Canelo versus BJS, I wish that BJS will get the W. He, if anyone can do it, but yeah, my gut says the W goes to Canelo, especially if it goes to points. Um, Saunders does have to knock out Canelo for him to win that, and you know it's very difficult to even knock down Canelo. The only loss that he's got was to points, and that was to Mayweather. So I don't really think it's likely to really happen. It's going to be a fun fight to watch. I'm glad that some of these big fights are happening. I hope that Spence Crawford happens quite soon as well. Comic board. Yes, I still need to come on your show. I'm waiting, man. Like, I really want to join you. I even brought Absolute Scarlet just because I wanted to join in with you guys. Um, congrats on the one year, mate. He's hoping to see you creating content for many more. Keep up the great vids and hope to connect with you soon. Me too. Like, I downloaded Google Hangouts just so that we could speak. So um, let's link up on there. I'm posting another Amazon code um, in the description right now. So feel free to get that. If you want, it's Amazon UK. I like the sponsored video and the fake ad. The, the good effort came through. I checked organic price books after that video, but shipping cost is too high. If there were be better shipping offer, if there were better shipping options, I'd definitely consider. It's something that JP is looking into. JP isn't even a year into his website just yet. You know, he's got so many big plans. So he recently got FedEx as an option, so it might be worth rechecking. Um, but obviously, when he's shipping internationally, it depends on how many orders he can ship. So it's kind of a bit give and take that people have to support it in order to get the shipping cheaper. But I understand that, obviously, you have to buy what's best for you um, and your situation. And if you can get five books for the price of one, then obviously, yeah, you're going to. And I, I respect that. Um, I just wanted to present it as a different option. Obviously, yeah, it, it, it was sponsored. And I was just grateful that somebody wanted to sponsor the channel. In the same way that I'm grateful that anybody wants to subscribe or donate or anything like that, like it's all still amazing to me. I'm not media trained. I didn't expect anything to really happen with this channel. So the fact that he was like, yo, I want to support your channel is like, Holy fucking shit, I'm going to make you a full video. I'm going to make you an advert. I'm that excited about this. Um, thank you for the recommendation of the Captain America Omnibus by Ed Brubaker. Love it so far. Oh my God, thank you. I'm so glad that people are picking that up. Um, it's actually going to appear on Whale Watch. So there's a little sneak peek for anybody that's wanting any hints towards that. But really hope that you enjoy it. Um, Mr. Highland G says, two questions. What's your favorite read this year? What was your favorite video to make this year? Oh, great questions. Favorite read is a surprising one. It's Jupiter's Legacy because I was only really reading it because I knew nothing about it. And I was really surprised with the series that I got. I thought that I'd seen everything from Mark Miller that I could see from him. And I really love Jupiter's Legacy. Like, the point when it takes a turn, I was like, holy shit, this is doing something. This is doing bits. And I was just I was having a blast with that book. So happy with it. Favorite video to make? Hmm. Oh, it's probably going to be one of my reviews, if I'm being honest with you. I did like making the advert for Organic Price Books because I just got to be as dumb as I wanted to be. Like when I opened the box and the book's on fire. And then also when I'm like slagging myself off. I loved as well the stuff that I did between the agitated puppy and, uh, you know, the, the arrogant newscaster. I really liked scripting that because I just got to slag myself off. Um, I do miss stuff like that. I hope that I can do more about that because I've got that self-deprecating sense of humor. Nobody can insult me more than I'm going to insult myself. So I really enjoyed doing that. But that is a really great question. And um, speaking of manga, have you read um, Hajime no Ippo? Watch the anime since you're a boxing fan. I even somebody recommended that to me though, and I'll definitely get onto that. Thank you for tuning in. I, if you catch up on the replay, I hope you enjoy the rest of the replay as well. And anybody who is watching the replay, I'm hoping you, that you're enjoying this as well. Um, my Dixie Rex said, love your videos, just don't ruin your show and bring your wife on like every other guy. No, I like that. I think, you know, it's great seeing people being able to, you know, bring this significant others. Um, Shadowcat's a little bit shy, um, so I don't really think she would want to come on. And, you know, I haven't really casted, I haven't cast an actress yet to play it. So, you know, that's always a hurdle. But yeah, like, I, I like, people do what they want with the channels. Um, I don't think anybody can catch up with me talking, to be fair. So maybe that's why I need to keep it a bit solo at the minute. Um, with some omnibus being so hard to get in the UK, would a buying club work? Maybe. Um, I'm shit at posting stuff out, though, if I'm completely honest with you. So that's something that I'd have to factor in. 
Um, Esteban says, congrats on the one year. Thank you for all the hard work that you put in for us. You and Omar have definitely made my love for comics grow. Really appreciate your whale watch videos. Helps with that FOMO. Yeah, I said this to Mr. Omar the first time we spoke that. I was like, I feel like you're hope. So you're like daredevil because, you know, you always hope and you bring hope with the reprint announcements. I'm the Punisher. I'm like, nope, this is the end of the line for this book. So we've got that really great balance. Um, but let's be honest, I am not the Punisher in any way, shape or form. Oh, dude, I'm a hugger too. If we meet at that Leeds convention, let's get the hug on. The hug will be more will be more of a moment than Thanos's snap. That's that's how powerful it will be. Um, just catching up on some of the comments here. That last Amazon code isn't valid. I just tried it. I copied and pasted it direct from the thingy, so somebody probably took it. Um, like I said, I've copied them directly, so. Unfortunately, it might have just been that somebody got it even quicker, I'm afraid. Um, if not, I need a refund. <laughs> uh, definitely check out Ashita No Joe and Megalo Boxing, as well as a boxing fan. I've got, like, Superman vs. Muhammad Ali and the Muhammad Ali Dark Horse sort of autobiographical books. So I definitely need some more boxing books. And I'd like to do, like, a video that's like, if you're into sports, what books can you buy? It might have been that somebody took it. I've literally copied it directly from the email. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just give you another one instead. This is the last one that I've got, though. So, fingers at the ready. There you go. That's the last one that I've got. Um, love your sense of humor. You never fail to make me laugh. Thank you, man. Um, my sense of humor is that I, I, I think that stuff isn't funny. Like... I like cringe humor. That That's my type of thing. I'm not that smart enough to do any other kind of sense of humor. So I'm glad that, that you enjoy it. Um, if you've been here for an hour and a half, I'm going to tell you what the new video idea is that I've got. But let's see if you're hyped for it. If you tell me that you're hyped, I will tell you what the new video idea is to see if you like it. And then I actually have to follow through with it. I can't just not do it um, as bad as I am for stuff like that. Let's have a see. Uh, just having a see... Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, I was just having a see at something there, just checking that the stream was up and running. Um, I think Melanie and Fee has added to Nia Mint and Gem Mint and uh, running in female collectors. Yeah, exactly. We need more voices in the, the comic book community. Um, it's just that Shadowcat isn't really there yet in terms of wanting to do videos or anything like that. Um, she's always supported the channel, though, so I'm not really going to push her to do something that she doesn't want to. Like I said, I want to do a crossover stream with Omar and Melanie, so I'd be I'd be really interested in doing that, especially if it's at a time when we can all have a little bit of a drink. Um, you see, Cade got the code. If if somebody's already got the code, it does say invalid. I hope you buy something great with it. Let me know what you picked up. Um, okay, so it looks like people are hyped. Looks like people are hyped. Okay. I really hope it's worth the hype. Let me do my hair for you guys. Let me do my hair. That's how much hype we need. Getting that super villain look back up and running. I look like James Franco's hair in the Spider-Man 1 from 2001 at this point. Um, okay. So, over at Rummy's Corner, which is a great, great boxing channel that I recommend everybody watching... He does something that is called the Top 5 Notable Wins, where he takes a look at a boxer's entire career through five fights that they've done. Only five fights. And it's looking at where the boxer was at the point before that fight, what that fight meant to them, and where they went after that. It's not what was their most entertaining fights, what were their greatest. It was, it was just what meant the most in their career. I want to do the same for comic creators. So I'm going to do a Jim Lee top five notable works. And, you know, people are going to disagree with me on what I choose, but it's personal that I'm going to say, I think that these five works that this creator did mean the most to that person's career. So obviously I'm going to start with stuff like Punisher War Journal, because that was where he really got noticed a little bit then obviously you're probably going to go to something like x-men and then you know i'd probably go wildcats it isn't finalized just yet but i'd go wildcats then i'd maybe go batman hush 
and then Justice League. But it's it's not about the books that I'm picking. It's about what it meant for that person's career. I'm working on the script at the minute, so please nobody snipe it from me at this minute. But I think it's going to be great because I want to talk more about creators as well. Mostly so that, you know, I can tag the minute on Twitter and hopefully get their attention at some point. But could you imagine, like, when I get around to doing, like, Stan Lee, Alan Moore, Robert Kirkman, Rick Remendi? I think there's a lot of potential with it. I can do artists. So, you know, there's just so much. I can even do editors. Like, the sky's kind of the limit with it. I'd love to do a Garth Ennis one because his career has been amazing. That you've gone from stuff like Preacher to Punisher and then you've gone to, like, The Boys... Mark Miller would be great as well. I like the creators. The, there's a little bit of a story behind the work. So if you're doing somebody like Rick Remender, of course, you've got people like... people. You've got works like... He did his original works over that were like creator, creator-owned. Then he went to Marvel for a bit, but it seemed as if he didn't like that as much as doing creator-owned. So he went back to creator-owned. That's a fascinating story, and I would like to be able to tell the story of an individual creator through five of their works, that's something that I think would be really interesting. Um, it might fall flat on its face. It's going to be entirely voiceover, so don't worry, you don't have to look at my face <laughs> for the entire thing. It's hopefully going to help me broaden my horizons because I don't know if it's shown in the videos, but I like to be able to learn from every video that I've done. Even the videos that didn't work. Like when I was doing the gaming videos that, you know, didn't really take off that much. I learned from them. I learned how to be able to talk on the spot, which did help with Whale Watch. You know, with doing my reviews, I've incorporated more of a voiceover. So that's something that I'm going to start to incorporate a little bit. And, you know, I think it's all been building up to this new series. So I, I hope that it works. I think Jim Lee is going to be a good one for me to start off with because it's easier to probably do artists. Originally, it was going to be Grant Morrison, but honestly, trying to choose five Grant Morrison titles to chart his career was difficult because I was like, okay, I'll start with something that's, you know, I was going to go Animal Man first because originally he got turned down by DC and then he went back and did Animal Man. Um Over something like Zenith that he did that was created around in the UK because I think that was where he really you know, first made an impression. I was then like, do I go to something like Justice League? Do I go to Flex Mentello maybe? WE3? Do I go New X-Men? You know, I thought I'd put Final Crisis in there because it's like, that's when I think he really peaked, that he was controlling the whole DC universe with that one event. That's something that I think would be cool. But, you know, if I start off with someone like Jim Lee, which I think is a bit more clear cut, obviously he's done way more than five titles and they all deserve a lot of respect because his art is phenomenal. But if I try and chart the trajectory of his career, I think it'd be easier to do somebody like Jim Lee rather than somebody like Grant Morrison. So I do need to understand a little bit more about what that format's going to be. But yeah, it's something that I pretty much ripped off from Rummy's Corner. I'm really interested to do it though. Let me know if it's something that you guys sound like you'd enjoy. Probably going to go for about 20 more minutes. I need to pick up Shadowcat from work after then. Um, but yeah, I've had a really great time. It's just crazy thinking that it's been a year already. Madness. I, I don't know. It, it's weird because I started this channel because of the fact that I just I needed something to do during lockdown. I'm somebody that always has to be keeping busy. So I just I just needed something. My friend had died like a couple of weeks before and we he was my training partner and then we just couldn't see, I, I, obviously I couldn't see him anymore, but, um, you know, I just, I didn't know how to process that and, and then I was stuck in me in my apartment all the time. I live next to a family where they put a trampoline next to everybody's living room window and the kids scream for about 10 hours a day. I needed something and this channel really helped me to focus. I just hope that it's not all short-lived like, I always worry that I'm going to wake up one day and everybody's just bored of me. <laughs> everybody's just like, yeah, that channel was fun whilst it lasted. <coughs> so, I don't know what this next year is going to bring. I hope I can afford a new camera. That's something that I'm looking forward to hopefully getting my hands on. And it's just, I always want to know where exactly the channel might go. 
but you kind of have to just see where things go. You can't just, I don't want to rush through anything. I don't want to, I don't want to take anything for granted either. You know, I said it at the end of my last haul, but I ended up deleting it because I was just rambling on for so much that you needed so much syrup to get through all the waffling that I did. But I never want to take anybody for granted if you're watching one of my videos. And also have the same belief that every video that you make is somebody's first video. So just put as much effort into every single video that you can. Um, that's always been my belief. But I never want to take you guys for granted. I never want to just tune out a video because of the fact that oh, I just want to put something out to get views. I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing for the people who have supported the channel and for people who might be tuning into the channel for the first time. Um, I'm just going to catch up on some of the comments here. Seems like you're all liking that idea. So the script is in the works. I really hope that it's good. I've also, like I said, with it being Jim Lee, I can put it in image and I think it'll still count. I've got a few who is's, but who do you want to see me do a who is on? Sounds like a great idea. I just, I just hope it comes out as good as I hope it will be. Um, happy first year, Mad Dog. What's your favourite read of 2021 so far? Um, thank you, Andy. Um, I said it a little bit previously. Definitely Jupiter's Legacy Book 1. I can't wait to read the rest of it as well. Um, and I'm looking forward to the show starting this month. I hope it's good because I didn't really enjoy The Umbrella Academy because I watched it after I read the book and I thought that the show was so slow moving in comparison. I think I read the book in the same time that it took me to watch the show. Um, Perfect Edition Comics says congrats on year one. Thank you, my man. Um, bit worrying referring to it as year one because as we know from Batman, year two is never as good as year one. But hopefully, hopefully good things in the future. And congratulations on your channel as well. Congrats on passing, you know, 500 subscribers. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with the channel. Really beautiful thumbnails. Um, Kate says, so to hear that, mate. It's so inspiring that you've turned such a tragedy into something so amazing. I don't think anyone will get bored of you. Your sense of humor and content is like no other. I hope so. Um, like I said, I've always got the belief there's no such thing as a limitation. A limitation is an opportunity to look for a different result. So, you know, being locked in, I can focus my creative outlet. You know, I want to go back to writing books as well. I finished writing a book about three years ago and I haven't wrote anything since then. I've got a plan for a book. And that's set during my time at university. And I'm not going to say too much more because I, I will get demonetized. But yeah, um, thank you for that. And, you know, stick with your own channel. You're going to do great things. And whenever you want to jump in for an MDC, just let me know. Um, don't look back. You're not going that way. Props if you know where that's from. Is it a song? I'm not too sure. I'm never too good. I'm honestly shit at pub quizzes and stuff like that. Do a who is on Mad Dog, the Marvel character. Haha. <laughs> I was tempted to do that. Um, I probably will at some point. Need to read up on him. He doesn't spell it like I do, though. He only has one G. Um, what have we got here? So Serbian says, do you think they will put the rest of Red Hood and the Outlaws run in a second omnibus? I think it's been quite a while now. I'm not really too sure. I'd hope that they would, because I brought that volume one for some reason. Um and I've heard that the run is pretty pretty enjoyable. More than happy to stream or do a video with you sometime. I'm sure it'd be a great time. Let's try to schedule something soon. For sure, especially with your, your book coming out, we definitely need to, to get that on the works. Um, me and Adam have, have spoke about it before in the past as well, so I'd definitely love for you to be on a future MDC. Not sure if this is right, but my kid just told me London Comic Con is on in July. Yeah, I think there's two. Um, there normally is. I remember when I checked the website a few weeks ago, they said October. It might have changed since then. It normally is it normally is one in October. Um, but obviously, with what's happening with the world, I just don't know. I'm not sure if I'd get a chance to get to the July one. If I could, then I would. Oh, my God. There's a cupcake company that always goes to the Comic Cons. I can't wait to go back just to have them. Oh, they're so nice. Honestly, if you want to ever find me in a comic convention, look for a cupcake stand. I won't be looking at the comics. I'll be buying cupcakes. Jason Aaron's scalp blew me away. I really hope they do a compendium. I really want to read the rest of that series. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up the oversized hardcovers in a good enough time. So I'm really hoping that, you know, they do the compendiums at least. Or just some way that I can collect it. I love Umbrella, I, I love Umbrella Academy, Deadly Class, Doom Patrol. I've never read any of the books, but I went out and brought all of the HG and Omnibus, but still ain't read them. I haven't watched Deadly Class. Is that something that I need to start watching? Because the show doesn't seem to have much... I'm not saying it's bad, but it just doesn't seem to have much buzz about it. 
Thanks, mate. I'd be down to do something collaborative anytime. I'd love that as well, especially now that you've read Preacher. Preacher is one of my favourite books ever. I liked as well that we um, both read Craven's Last Hunter around the same time. If he only has one G, he's not the real mad dog. There can only be one. We can all be mad dogs as well. I'm the mad dog. That's what we need to remember. But the mad dog is a mentality. Like, should I tell you this? Fuck it. Um, I'm talking with people to maybe do merchandise. To maybe have t-shirts coming out, maybe hoodies. Because I found someone local that's got their own printing press. So I can make sure that I look through the quality. I don't want there to be any part of that production that I'm not involved in. I don't want it to be that you get a t-shirt that I haven't felt the quality of. In case it's too thin, in case it rips too easy, in case it's a weird sizing. I want to make sure that I can give you guys quality. I've got some really cool stuff. I've got something funny for the not a manga guy meme that we we seem to be starting. Um, I also wanted, if anybody's watched Sons of Anarchy, I wanted to have our own fake motorcycle club that'd be called the Dogs of Madness and do like a really cool design about that. But I never want you to buy one of my t-shirts just because you want to support the channel. I want you to buy one of the t-shirts because it looks fucking cool. Like I wanted to get to the point where people who even dislike my videos, like maybe some people have already disliked this one. I haven't checked. Um, yeah, a few people have disliked it, you know, who cares? Um, but yeah, I want my t-shirt designs to be so cool that people who even dislike me are like, fucking hate that guy, but I want to buy his t-shirt. So I'm in talks with it. I'm not really too sure about distribution. It might be UK only at first until I figure out some things, but I've got some really cool plans. So I don't know, is that something that anybody would want to see? Am I wasting my time even looking at it? You need to watch Raising Dion on Netflix about an eight-year-old kid who gets superpowers. Ooh, my, Michael B. Jordan is a taxi. I love that guy. He's definitely my man crush. Thank you for tuning in. If you watch the recap, I hope you enjoy it as well. Um, thanks, mate. I appreciate your videos a lot. They've helped me to get into um, directly, to get direction in my collecting. Um, I'm glad as well. There, there's so much that I want to learn about collecting as well. I want to branch out and read more European comics. And um, Perfect Edition Comics talks a lot about European stuff and it, it's getting me interested in it as well. So I want to broaden my horizon. Um, just got home. Awesome, you're still going. I'm not sure if you heard me accidentally call you my YouTube husband, but apparently that's a thing now. So fair warning. I've never been to a Comic Con, but when they start back up here in the UK, I'll be going to one. I can't wait for Comic Cons as well. Don't get me wrong, I used to get annoyed at people who had cumbersome cosplay costumes, but didn't realise that they were turning around dead quick and hitting people in the head with a wing. That kind of stuff annoyed me, but I even miss that now, because honestly, cosplay is a phenomenal. I'd like to cosplay at some point. I was going to go with Conan the Barbarian if I got back into shape, but if I'm going like an October convention, it's probably going to be cold, so that's not going to be pretty. Um, Marks, I'll give you my scalp deluxes now. I'm finished with them. DM me. I'm down for that as well. Thank you. I'll definitely DM me after the show. Um, can't go wrong with anything by Remender or Lemire. Yeah, Tokyo Ghost was one of those books as well that grew on me after I'd finished reading it. Like, the more I thought back about it, I enjoyed it. Um, Joachim says, thank you for starting your channel. I admire your hustle on making the videos from afar for a long time. And now I have not only a new channel to follow, but also a great friend. Same here, like, I can't wait until the day when we all get to meet, whether it be over here or over there, as long as we get a chance to meet. I like the stuff that we've got planned for the future, even the stuff that I can't say here. Um, so I'm really excited for the future as well. Mad Dog Dog Bowl. I was going to do dog collars, dog tags. That was stuff that I had as well. But yeah, dog bowls. Like, I need to hire you as my um, head of like product creation and stuff like that. I still believe, I really believe you will be successful and easily will hit the 10K at the end of the year. I don't, 10K is a lot. Um, it'd be great if it happened. Like I said, I, I just want to bring you guys the best videos that I can. If I do that, it doesn't matter if I get any more subscribers. I'm, I'm one of those narcissistic people that just likes to know I did something well. It's not even about the result. As long as I, in my heart, knew that I did something to the best that I could, that's enough for me. But yeah, like I said, if I ever got a 100,000 plaque, that's going to be mum and dad straight away. Um, and I'd, I'd love... Uh, man, could you imagine how... I can't tell you how, how much that would mean to me if I could one day go home and tell my mum and dad that I actually did something on YouTube because they were there when I had my first channel 
and then just slowly let it die. Um, I'd love just to be able to, I just want to be able to give back. They deserve a, a life that I can't give them at the minute, unfortunately, but I'm going to work hard. Even I'm going to try and get my book published. Hopefully I can do something um, for them. Still need to read Preach It. I know as soon as I do, I'll be after those absolutes. So they are the most beautiful books in my collection, probably. Actually, maybe Park of the Martini edition. I'm not too sure. Dog collars, tennis balls. Yeah, I'm just going to get into dog merchandise. I was going to make a mad dog vodka. A mad dog vodka. That was going to be the thing. Because did anybody hear that Conor McGregor sold his um, proper 12 whiskey for 600 million? He didn't even sell all of it. He sold part of it and got 600 million. Madness. A motorcycle cut and patch ad buy. Yeah, like, I think the dogs of madness would sound like the coolest MC. I just hope that it's not already taken. Comic Bound, you haven't read Preach yet. Come on, mate. I know I might have to YouTube divorce him at this point. How about a mad how about a mad dog pound? Ooh. What like a cryptocurrency? I believe somebody said if you I think it was Paul who said if you ever create a currency, make sure it's called the dog pound. Sons of Anarchy is great. I've recently just finished it. It's so good. Season two is phenomenal. By the way, I'm only gonna go for about 10 more minutes. So comments that have come in. Come in in the next five minutes. I'll answer till then, and then I'm I'm going to have to shoot off because obviously I've got um, picked Shadow Cat up from work. Um, but yeah, Sons of Anarchy, phenomenal. I just watched Good Girls, and it's pretty much Breaking Bad if it was plotted by somebody who didn't think about the plot. That's all I can really say. It's it's entertaining, but it really wanted to be Breaking Bad, like hilariously so, to the point where the plot points are even the same in the seasons. Just got Dr. Afro Omnibus. How did you like it? Positives and negatives. Haven't read it yet, unfortunately. Um, it literally only just come in. It isn't even on the shelf yet because it only recently made it into the hall. I'm excited to read it, though. Um, if you have merchandise, you need to have the one saying, this is my jam. Yeah, I've got a good one planned for the New 52 is my jam. Like, it was going to be a jam part that said the New 52 and have, like, pictures of them. That sounds shit as soon as I said it out loud, but, you know. Um, let's have a see what we've got here. Um... Could have a plate done, MD, you being from the potteries. That's true. Like, mugs are pretty decent as well. I really like what Comic Airwaves did with their mugs. Like, I also wanted to make mugs that come with tea bags, like proper British tea bags. I always want to make sure that people get the money's worth if they were going to buy anything from me. There's definitely some ideas that are floating about. At the minute, there's a lot that's, ironically, on my plate. Um, but as well, I wanted to do like, I wanted to create an icon, like a mascot that was a mad dog, kind of like Ripper from Crash Bandicoot, but maybe like a pug or something like that. And then I could use that and do like comic homages. Like, could you imagine if we had a pug that's in the Wolverine picture? Um, where is it? You all know the picture that I'm talking about. It's the cover of the Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1. Could you imagine if we had like a mad dog edition of this? That would just be insane. And it's like the little ears that are up. Hopefully Marvel doesn't sue me. I don't really think I'm on anyone's radar enough to be sued, but there's some ideas that I've got floating around. It's just executing them's a little bit different, but it's in the pipelines. And if you guys want it to happen, that's going to encourage me more so to get it done. Didn't catch it, but didn't catch that part. I'm cool with it. Yeah, cool. It's official. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be so weird when we start the next MDC. Um Akeem Comics is a good place to start for European comics. They are right by my house and I know them. If shipping is an issue, I can ship it to you for you. That's no problem. I'll check them out and see if that's something that would interest me. Like like BJ said, at the minute though, it's difficult to find time to read. I'm currently reading East of West and I'm struggling a little bit and to just find time. But those absolutes are beautiful. If you talk about preaching, definitely. What are your thoughts on Bendis as an Ultimate Spider-Man fan? Everything that I've read from Bendis so far, I have really enjoyed. I've got a plan to do the rise and fall of Bendis because obviously you've got stuff like his DC work that nobody really seems to enjoy. I, I do want to branch into some kind of like documentary type of stuff on the channel. Obviously that takes a little bit more time, but it's something that I wanted to do. Like I wanted to do like an autopsy of the Netflix Marvel TV shows. So start with Daredevil season one. But every time I've branched out into stuff like TV shows, maybe gaming, nobody seems to really resonate with it. So, you know, with something like that, it'd take a lot of work and it'd take attention from other videos because I don't really have as much time with, you know, having a full-time job, you know, other stuff that I've got to do beyond just YouTube and work. So I didn't know if it'd be something that I would be able to really focus in on. So I don't know. Um, I do want to branch into that kind of thing, though. It's just... 
I, I, I wish there was a way that I could really know if people want to see it. Like with my reviews, I've started putting out polls like, which of these do you guys want to see me do? And reviews still don't really seem to do that well. So I'm trying, like, so we're only a year in. I'm still learning. It's all, it's all going to start figuring itself out later. Marcus, you should check out Black Sad and Inkal for great European comics. I've got Black Sad. Um, I picked it up for Shadow Cat because she loves cats. Um, definitely one that I want to check out. And there's also a PS4 game. Um, let's see what we've got here. I'd be down to be the head of Mar Mad Dog Marketing. Um, do I need to include my comic collection on my CV? Yes, definitely. Um, yeah, that's all your CV needs to be. It's just a picture of your collection. Bendis, every day of the week, it's always going to be Bendis. Um, any plans to do a top 10 DC one and done on the bus? Yes, definitely. Um, probably going to be in June because Image... Um, May is all about image. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. I've got a lot of ideas at the minute. I kind of like that. I like having more ideas than time to actually fulfill the ideas rather than having too much time and no ideas. Um, but yeah, it's definitely definitely on the cards. So don't worry about that one. I'm half tempted as well to split it into DC and Vertigo because I feel like it's kind of cheating combining the two. So we'll definitely see about that. I'm very good, thank you. Um, I'm really enjoying the stream. Um, I'm hoping you're doing as well too, Glenn. Thank you as well for always checking out the videos. Um, the logo should be a dog biting on an Iron Man Matt Fraction Omni. That'd be really easy to envision if Marvel actually fucking made it. <laughs> like, honestly, what? why don't Marvel want my money? They made the complete collections and then stopped after volume one. They made the oversized hardcovers, stopped after two. Just make an omnibus Marvel. Like, like that's... The first thing I said to Omar when we started talking, I was like, will you tell David to make that omnibus? I really want to. That's still probably my number one most wanted Marvel omnibus. Uh, don't know what I'm more gutted about. You potentially YouTube divorced me or the fact that we never got a YouTube stag do. That's true. Our YouTube stag do would have been amazing. <sighs> a strip club where it's just us looking at the inside of pages of books. <sighs> we really messed up. Now we're married. It's already boring. Like, it's not. He's a great guy. Um, read Fifth gra fifth Beatle graphic novel too. It was great. But then again, I'm a Beatles fan, so maybe I'm biased. I've heard good things about that. I'd really like to check it out. My jam should be a plate with some 52 trades in it with, j with jam being spread on it. It's definitely an option. Maybe we should branch into jam that tastes like what the new 52 would taste like. So maybe it's got like a great initial taste, but then it's forgettable immediately after that. Um, as a manga collector, you pushed me to start comics. I'm going to start with X Men, Mutant Genesis, and Green Lantern. Oh, Green Lantern, that is phenomenal to jump into. Like, who knows? Maybe I'll branch into manga. Never say never. Dylan's in the house saying woof woof, hoping that you're enjoying the stream. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to go for about, I'm probably just going to answer the questions that we've got here, um, and then you know, start to. Start to end the chat because I need to pick up Shadow Cat and I'm in. Um, because I'm on issue 23 of Ultimate Spider Man, I'm really enjoying it. What a ride! That is such a good run. Like, it, not everything's created equal in it, but for just a consistently great series, I think only something like Invincible really compares to it. Um, which comic run or comic is your favorite if you had to choose? If I could only choose one, that's really difficult. I'm just going to look at myself. Invincible is the obvious one, but since the show came out, it really reinvigorated my love for the comic, and it actually got Shadow Cat reading it, which is which is great. Um, why am I immediately looking at my Marvel shelf? Daredevil by Bendis, of course, is going to be top tier. I also love Captain America by Ed Brubaker. Um, Superman Batman was one of my favorite books. That's definitely one of my favorite runs as well. That's why I had more DC books. What's happened? Um, and obviously, Batman by Scott Snyder is one of my favorite runs as well. Um, let's have a see here. If you had to save just three omnibuses for being destroyed for any reason, which would they be? Man, that hurt to ask, but I pray none of us ever have to go through something bad like that. Yeah, that is difficult. If I had the if I had the Why the Last Man omnibus, I'd definitely save that because that shelf behind me that's got Why the Last Man and Walking Dead is just in case I ever need to get my favorite books, I could just scoop them up and then they're all in one place rather than having to go. So um, that would definitely be one that I'd save um, because it just means so much to me. Punisher by Rick Remend because that was the first omnibus that Shadowcat brought for me. 
Um, it's that's such a difficult question, man. Ah, oh, why are you doing this to me? I probably would go Daredevil by Bendis Volume One. I can read that any time and always enjoy it. Uh, let's have a see what we've got here. I just got Batman Omni for, from Snyder for 60 quid. Yeah, I'm so glad that that actually did come back in stock. It is going to get mentioned in Whale Watch, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, I brought it from Books, etc. They've yet to ship it just yet, so I'm I'm not too sure what's happening there. It does look as if the Amazon gift cards have been claimed, so I hope that you guys managed to get some great books with them. It's amazing how you try to do new things with... It's amazing how you try to do new things with normal comic channel stuff. Exactly like the challenges in the halls was because I wanted to be excited about doing halls again. I wanted to spice it up for myself. If I enjoy what I'm doing, hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. That's always been my belief. That's why this documentary stuff, I'm really excited to start doing that. And it's it's something that, who knows? I've kind of got the Gymshark mantra when it comes to this channel that in a couple of years' time, I'm as likely to have everybody unsubscribe as I am to have succeeded at anything, because I'm willing to take those risks, because the risks are what excite me. Obviously, I've got, like, my staples of doing stuff. I'm always going to do hauls and whale watch and poll list. I mean, who is me, where to start, and all the other stuff that I do in the meantime. But I, I, I need to be excited as well, and I'm glad that that excitement is something that I can bring to you guys. Uh, I really hope this Top 5 Notable work series really is what I hope it will be. Give the first episode a chance, that's all I'll say. And if it's a bit rough around the edges, bear with it, because I'm. it's obviously going to take some learning. But that's something that I hope can help you guys learn about creators as well, and also enrich my knowledge about stuff, because who is really allowed me to broaden my horizons about certain characters that I learn things about? Like Moon Knight's a character that I like, but didn't know everything about him, so I did who is, so that more people could learn. But at the same time, I learned about him, so I was really happy for that. Yeah, probably going to end in a couple of minutes or so. Um, Glenn says, I'm good, thank you. I really enjoy your channel. I just hope I can continue to bring good videos. I've always had the belief that I'm only as good as my next video because if I come out with three bad videos now, I'm going to lose that trust that you guys have put in me. So that's the way that I'm always going to look at it. I might put out a video that maybe isn't for you, but I don't want to put out something bad. And, you know, that's what I'm always, that's what my belief always is, that I'm only ever as good as my next video the past videos are just past videos. Like, there's only so much that they can do for me. I haven't, but I brought that special collector's edition from um, from Amazon because they haven't corrected the price just yet. Uh, I had no intention of getting manga, but I brought Berserk 7 Deluxe Volumes and last week the Akira box set. Omar made me do it. Honestly, he made me buy the Akira box set as well. I found his old video um, and I just needed that. Um, to put your jeans on or to go out in your teenage mute... Honestly, people, my neighbours are happy when I go out in my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles PJs because it means that I'm wearing bottoms. Like, I do not give a shit. Like, I've passed that point of Kane. if anybody... Look at me hair. I clearly don't care about my appearance. So, I'm, I'm past that point. I, I've answered me... Every time I get a takeaway, it's always in my pyjamas that I'll go down and gate. I, I've, I've turned into that guy, unfortunately, that I will, unfortunately... Go everywhere in my pajamas now. I'm just going to start bringing this chat to a close. Um, let's have a see what we've got here. Speedy Hen told me they are getting the Batman by Snyder back in on the 25th. Yeah, um, JP said that he's getting some more copies in as well over organic price books. Like you're available to order them. It makes sense with volume two coming out, but I'm just so glad because I held off on buying that volume one because of the fact that volume two wasn't on the cards and then as soon as volume two got announced volume one was nowhere to be seen phil said great stream man as well i've upgraded my um stream yard to uh, so that i have to pay for it every month um so if you guys want more one-on-one -on -one streams obviously we're still going to do the mdc but i do understand that i neglect the chat unfortunately um and i don't want it to be that you feel like i'm taking you for granted it's just more i want people to just get into a conversation rather than me just always looking at my screen and them having to be silent whilst i'm looking through the comments so do you guys want more one-on-one -on -one streams maybe if we did this once a month i know we talked about doing the whale watch live as well i'm open to to suggestions on what you guys want to see so just let me know or if you think once a month is too much yeah that, that's fine um just let me know Exactly. Any whole videos coming soon? 
We want to, you get some massive hauls, man. Thank you. Um, Bahara said, great chatting with everybody, and congrats again, Marcus. Thank you. Like, thank you for everybody that stuck around. We've still got 45 people that are watching this. That's madness. Ah, oh, thank you for the super chat as well, Esteban. And um, before you finish this live chat, just want to say thank you again and show a little st support. Stay barking, woof woof. Thank you. Honestly, it does just mean so much. Like, you know, people who also donate to me tip jar when I just get a surprise notification. It's like somebody brought you a coffee. I'm like, holy shit! Like, I'm. Ju it just makes me want to do better. Honestly, like. Nothing in life's guaranteed. My next breath isn't guaranteed. I hope it is because it'd be really embarrassing if this stream just carried on um, and I just wasn't breathing. But every time somebody does support the channel, even if it's just with a nice comment, which I'm trying to focus more on, even like 99% of the comments are really supportive, but there'll be one that's nitpicking or complaining. And sometimes if I'm in the wrong mood, it, it makes me want to say, oh, fuck all this, but it's for you guys that I'm doing this. And... The support just is phenomenal, and I really just hope that the future videos that I bring out are a good payoff for that support. So thank you for that, Super Chat. It does really mean a lot. It's 2 a.m. here. Uh, got to go. Congrats again, Marcus. You are a credit to this YouTube comment community. Thank you. That's what I always wanted to do. I wanted to be able to give back to the community that I loved so much. I, when I started this out, wanted to be like a combination between KSI, iFanboy, and Mr. Omar. Um, I'm hoping that that's going to be the case. I hope I get some money to fight Logan Paul as well. That would be pretty great. Um, but yeah, it's. I, I just hope that I can continue to do good things for the community. Um, and I hope that you guys like what I've got in future as well. Uh, he is great. I know you're answering a question, but I just thought I'd say it's great. <laughs> woof, woof. Yeah, exactly. That woof, woof was an accident. Like, I said woof, woof at the, first, at the very first video. It's like, yeah, delete that. And I just forgot to delete it. So it stuck around and it's like, no, I'll keep doing this. And you know what? Some people think it's cringy. Some people don't like it, but I'm going to keep doing it for you guys. It's not for the people who don't like it. It's for the people who do like it. Great stream. Really enjoyed chatting with you in the community. Woof, woof. Yeah, let's see. Shall we maybe do this once a month? Is that something that you guys want to see? These streams are great, man. Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying it because I honestly have no faith in myself to be able to keep anybody entertained. Any, Even when I'm doing like an eight minute video, I don't think I've got any ability to keep anybody entertained love how you said 15 minutes ago five more minutes but before wrapping up we are wrapping up now so um we, we are getting there I, I, do, I just feel bad if i end the chat before acknowledging people and um, great stream as always i like the streams with everyone else and on your own whatever you want to do just keep it coming and um, great chat and one-on-ones would be would be thumbs up with this stopping now i have to stop watching and make a vid i can't wait till that vid keep doing what you're doing um drop me a message and we will get a um We'll get an MDC definitely set up. Shadow Cat is probably standing in the rain wondering what's taking so long. Yeah, probably, to be fair. <laughs> He's probably watching as well. Um, really enjoyed this stream, especially the boxing talk. Have a lovely evening, Marcus. You too. And honestly, I love talking about boxing as well, MMA, all of it. Um, next time we need a stream of you and the agitated puppy. I might get the agitated puppy to do a stream. That'd be quite funny, but I couldn't do that voice for a full two hours. Definitely once a month. Can't believe where the two hours have gone. Same here. We are wrapping this up, um, but please keep the streams coming. Yeah, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this as a, a monthly thing. The MDC is still going to be around as well because I want to be able to bring other people onto here. And, you know, definitely. Let's do this again next month. Um, have a great one, bro. Um, thank you for, for being here, Sabian. <laughs> Dude, she's waiting. She is. So I'm going to get this wrapped up. Thank you to everybody. Everybody who's watched this. Everybody who supported the channel, whether it be from day one or even if it's just been from today, everybody who's donated, like, holy shit, thank you. Everybody who's used the affiliate link. I had this fucking banner that I made that I probably should have shown throughout, but yeah, use code woof woof for $2 off your order or organic priced books. Um, I completely forgot to put that up. Um, there's also an affiliate link that does greatly help the channel. I'm really excited for the improvements that are going to come. If it's half as much as what's happened in this first year, I hope that it's going to do a lot for the channel. I'm not going to stop working. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop trying to bring the best videos for you guys. So just know that I'm always going to try and bring the best fucking videos that I can. Um, I can see that obviously that you, you're all saying goodbye at the minute. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in. I hope you all have a great bank holiday if you're in the UK. I hope you're just having a great day wherever you are. Um, let me know what you think of this in the comment section below and you know how often you'd like to see these streams because whatever you guys want to see is what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, if you aren't subscribed, make sure that you, you have, 
Um, everyone, don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. Thank you, my man. Um, and he also said, what a great year. Super proud of you. I'm just glad that I managed to connect with so many people such as yourself and everybody else and all you guys that are here now. You made this channel happen. You pulled me out of a really shit time in my life. And I just hope that I can continue to deliver if I have delivered it all already. But yeah, until next time, I'm going to wrap this up. Make sure that you stay safe, stay reading the best books that you can find, and stay mad, all you dogs. Woof, woof. See you in the next video, live stream, wherever it happens. But thank you, guys. Big love.